trivial thing. And we're recording. They they do get kind of weird about some of the stuff. I mean, these are all skeptics pretty much. So they get weird about not being exact in some things. So we can argue about the answers too. Thank you. Um, accusing some of us of being pedantic. Yeah, a bit. And they love it if they can use Wikipedia against me. So that's even better. All right. So skeptic? no, I'm a hardcore Christian. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, right. Here comes Jane, Jane, the other Jane, 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 Jane. Let's let her enter. And I'm going to put you guys in your rooms. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is everybody's going to be sent to a room. So you'll fall, it'll pop up on your screen. It'll say, Susan Gerbic has invited you to breakout room number, and we'll have a room number. There's five rooms. And then you will just go to that room. Once you're in that room, you know, you can introduce yourselves to everybody. But what your goal is, is to find a team name i like puns i like funny things and i like things that have to do with the current world i love names that are i don't know they reflect tropical. whatever's happening topical yeah news topical tropical 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 we're all liberals so you know it's all hate on the republicans and that's just the way <laughs> if, uh, if you put me on with adrian we're uh we can do a <laughs> political thing about alberta Nobody wants to hear about Alberta's politics. <laughs> no, no. Sorry, what is this Alberta you speak of? Is this a woman? I don't know who's Alberta. Oh, it's yeah, what she's. Is that, what is this place of Canada that you see? Something. Of? Okay, where'd Jane go? There's Jane. Okay, let me make this other Jane. We got to make it Jane. We have two Janes, so we got to make them. Did anybody see the, the map of uh, continental uh, North America? And it, it broke it up into most of the East and West Coast was it said united states but then the whole part of the central united states and alberta and canada said jesus land mm -hmm. oh i've seen that oh. okay really? so it's kind mike of is gonna lead off terry's gonna go next so she's in the rooms right now Oh, there's Terry. And of Terry. course, our uh, our government wants to uh, delay the election uh, another year. Oh, yeah. Can they do that? No. I'm, I'm confused. Well, I, thought you, I thought you were a, uh, under uh, Prince Charles. Or you're a monarchy. Why are you having an election? <laughs> that's always yeah. confusing. Oh, Rob. That's, that's, oh, that's all I can say to that is, oh, Rob. <laughs> oh, Rob. Hey, Rob. Gail, yeah. when is your So when you mean you could you you elect King Charles? Please do. Oh, we got big rooms tonight. This is going to be nice. Our, our what? We got larger rooms. There's going to be five or six of you guys in these rooms, and we'll have people to join later. Well, some people will leave early, and we'll have new people joining. Did you say wow. our friend? Did you say when is our friend Larry going to play? Yeah, when is no, no, Larry, um, Gail's friend, not you, oh. not the Calgary friend. No, we know he's not playing. Hey, what? Yeah, that would be really awkward. That would be interesting if he joined. It would be. We're going to have a psychic on, and we're going to yeah. play. And ask medium, questions medium. that only Larry knows. A medium. Not gorilla, non gorilla. You guys are too funny. Okay. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Da, da, da. Okay. So I'm gonna open the rooms and let you guys go. Oh, we don't have a timer. That's the other thing. You're done when I say you're done. So that's <laughs> <my time. laughs> I like that. Oh, look. There's a new thing. There's a new button. If I push the B button, I can I can broadcast to the rooms. Wow. That's cool. So go play. Wear your masks, be nice. Hey Ben, go. I'm trying, I'm having computer problems. Oh no, you are a computer expert. That's what you do for a living. You're not supposed to have- Well, I took my computer with me somewhere and I hooked it back up and now it's not working right. So you may have to re-invite me. I think I actually lost my internet for a bit. So I think I reconnected. I don't have the ability to, unless I can just, yeah, I can. All right, I did yeah. have to do it manually. I'm going. Okay, yeah. bye.
I guess I should pause. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, here comes Janine. Janine's playing? She's like in some national forest somewhere. Yeah, she's in New Mexico or something. Maybe she just come and say hi. Everybody's waiting, but I'm not going to do it tonight. <laughs> Well, it's old news by now. I know. Thank you, sweetie. Was that directed towards me, Adrian? Oh, Thank there you, you go. Absolutely, no. Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent, you're not doing it with constituted doing it because we all thought about what it was you were not doing. So we imagined that. Right. We all lost the game. Except the people uh, who are new. They don't know what the hell we're talking about. I That's know. me. Don't be don't be messing with people's brains. So did anybody listen to the latest uh, SGU? No. R Richard Saunders does. Uh, well, he's on the whole episode, but he did, he did the science of fiction. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And his first question was triple the length of anything I've ever given as a question here. Just <laughs> oh saying. my God, that was. That's okay because it's not trivia. That was. Yeah, yeah. Of course it is. So how did, how did he do a wordle? No, I actually, I actually heard Kara Santa Maria go, oh, my God, as he Susan. kept going on. There. For those of you who don't Susan know, said, I can't Susan stand it. Wordle is a cult. Wordle is a cult. I think you hurt uh, Richard's feelings, though, Rob, because he didn't have a context for, for what you were saying. Susan, well, thank you, you, thank you for adding it. Then. You're welcome. I think he felt better then. Why is it I I not here apples. anymore? What is Richard doing that's so important? He's been doing a lot of acting, and it's it. Uh, of course, the jobs right now it's like in the daytime in Australia. Yeah, yeah the next yeah, day. Awesome. So if he's working, he can't come. Uh, Janine, are you there? Is he is he going to be in? Any I am here, but I'm MCU on stuff? John's laptop, and I can't get the camera to work. Where 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 are you? I am in La Cruces, New Mexico, headed to Albuquerque tomorrow. How cool. It looks like you're in a closet. We'll just pretend she's, she's in the closet. Hiding in the and darkness you, with her. It's feet. nighttime. You can't see anything, right? There's, really not. Yeah. It's black. like there's no camera. I don't I think know what's she's going just on. too short for the camera. There's a little <laughs> switch. There's a little switch over the lens. Oh, you have no. to open Janine. it. There's a oh. little switch over the lens. Sometimes there is. Yeah, yeah depending upon slider. the laptop. Yeah, How there's do you a little do slider. It? Well, How there might change? be them. It there might be a slider. A slider. Yeah, try go see if you can figure out. It's usually there might be the a top. big giant like black widow slider. Slide it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it slides a little piece of plastic over the lens for privacy. Oh, interesting. So, so yeah, you got to look at the camera see. and look around the camera to see okay. if you see a little I slider. I take my glasses off and I don't see any little. Maybe there slide. isn't one. The some lot of laptops. Can you actually like see the glass? Can you see the glass lens? Hey Peggy. Can you see them? Peggy. Yeah. Did you know that we're being recorded? I do. Thanks. I have to do it. Yes. Have there do it is. It. There you now go. There it Janine. She found it. It well, looks just like her, too. <laughs> yeah. No, John did it on his phone. Oh. So oh. it doesn't like I don't know how to get it. Aimed you have to switch me. the review. You yeah. have to flip the little oh, stick. Review. We see a hand, a man's hand. I don't know how to do I it. see his car heart. Oh, oh, I'm dizzy. pretty sure I saw a UFO and big on his <laughs> And that's it. That's what I'm saying. There she is. All right. Hi, Janine. Yeah. Are you, are you, 
that hey, the there we are. Was Wasn't it a UFO with Bigfoot on the wing? <laughs> I don't think it was Bigfoot. It was a goblin, wasn't it? <laughs> on the wing? There's Janine. Okay, if it's better, Jean, nobody's going to care if you turn off your camera. Nobody will care. I think that's true. Okay. So, it's good to see you, though. It, it yeah, looks it's weird nice to see, see you. you. Thank you for actually, joining us from the road. A place that looks like yeah. civilization. She hasn't the, made it uh, home, so to her, Psycon still hasn't ended. Uh, and and uh, Faith Romero just got back yesterday. That was one heck of a Psycon. Lasted like two weeks. Yeah, we even really got lady. attacked by a big giant hand. Who's that lady? That is the lady that was holding the cat on Big Sur. Oh, oh now I can see her. She was a little blurry <laughs> there. Gosh. They came out to Big Sur. All right. So those of you who are GSOW, put GSOW on there. We have visitors that hopefully will remain permanent members. So we're on our best behavior. You guys all know that. Girl Boy. Scouts of Wakanda? <laughs> what? Girl Scouts of Wyoming? What? What does GSOW stand for? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know better. It's not. Okay. So here's where we get the team names. And this is always so fun. So we have five teams. The five teams. Somebody somebody um, put Janine down in one spot. So the five teams are clear. You should be on team four. <laughs> there, there is this wild chair in this hotel room. And I can't. I, 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 I think that's too much knowledge. We don't need to know about what's going on over there with you and your husband. <laughs> I just want to think you put a quarter in it for 15 minutes. That's what you get from Motel <laughs> 6. <laughs> All right. So, Team One, who shall no longer be called Team One unless they name themselves Team One Carolyn, Faith, Romero, Jane from California, Mike, and Rob. What is your winning team's name? We have no team name. We can't afford twenty dollars a month to verify one. <laughs> oh. oh, did you see what he said, uh, Elon Musk? He said, um, "Oh, Stephen King said yeah. you should be paying me to have a verified <laughs> yeah. thing." And then Elon Musk goes, "Well, would you do eight dollars a month?" Yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't negotiate yeah. with us. It's twenty or nothing. Oh. All right. So Allison and some maybe Jason later. Jeff, Peggy, Ron, and Terry. What is your winning team name tonight? Absent-minded. Absent oh, absentee-minded. Yeah. Right? Absentee-minded. Absentee-minded. Yeah, as in voting. Ooh. Yeah. Very good. I, we mailed ours in yesterday. Adrian, Cindy, Aaron, Jamie, Karen, Lynn, and Paul. What is your name tonight? Too many people on that team. <laughs> that's the name of it no no Ooh, i have a run by cat it's canucks against hammers Ooh. Oh, geez. <laughs> and, be sure, and, be sure to use, and be sure to use the phrasing of against against hammers canucks against hammers what is hammers do you use hammers? That's uh, Mr. Uh, Pelosi. Only the guy who attacked the Canadian, the Canuck that attacked Pelosi. Oh, yes. Pelosi. Yeah. Oh, he was a Canadian? I had not he, heard that. He's from British yeah. Columbia. He's, he's being exported to Canada. Yeah, he's, 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 he's an, in Canada. Up by 14 years. So yeah, he's, he's, a, he's an ice back. He came across the northern border. He's been here for a while. For <laughs> Ice back. <Are> we, <laughs> As opposed we to a weapon. Immigrants. Back. Can we keep these Canadians out? Let's build a wall. Are we doing a prisoner exchange for maple syrup? Ooh. <laughs> Putin. Oh, Putin. Okay, Kevin, Ben, Vincent, Wendy, and you will have more on your team soon. We are the Twitter quitters. Yeah. Ooh. I heard people are going in and they're just taking every ad they can find and they're um, unsubscribing to it and letting the the companies know who why they're unsubscribing. So it's causing okay. a lot of damage. I think we should start a movement. Everybody who's on it should quit. So and we tell everybody else to quit. So it's worthless. Well, you're not starting that. That's that's not starting news. that. That's yeah. Happening, well, we should Kevin, we should po we should do it. But actually, oh, okay. I went to look how to do it, and I even Google how to do it, and it's not clear. It's like you can temporarily you suspend your. You can account. just not use it anymore because I have one. And I won't use it anymore. Well, that, they won't know that. Uh, I yeah. actually like. That. I don't think there's, Musk cares. They might right. figure out how to actually actually quit. I'd love to know it. I want to wait until he lets Trump on, then I can quit. 
I well, want to get like a real it's already a good idea. Wait, wait a little bit. Okay, so Brandy, Gail, Jane from Oregon, Carl, and Kyle. Um, we chose a quote from Napoleon in politics, absurdity is not a handicap. <laughs> That's not funny. In fact, it gets you ahead. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty accurate, pretty true. That's like really. Let's down. see how Herschel Walker does. <laughs> yeah, I hope not. I want a citation to prove this from him. All right. <laughs> so I actually think Mark Twain said it. I think it was Lincoln. Let's check Wikipedia. No. All right. Here we are. Lincoln first said it on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> it was I was just gonna say, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure he tweeted it. I'm pretty sure it was Aristotle, but that's <laughs> oh my god, Big you're possible. All right. So here we are tonight. Tonight, my unconventional conventionalists. We are November the third, twenty twenty. This will be the last time we ever play on November third in twenty twenty two. That's impossible to ever happen again unless there's somebody in time, time travel, travel is possible and you love time travel. No, they, they, it is not they have, possible. They've reset calendars in the past. No, no, not not on this day. This day Good will never point, happen again. Aaron. Game number 132, <laughs> season three. That's because we're on year three, episode 23 in year three. So we are on a roll. Here we are. Again, with new people, remember, I have to remind you guys on your best behavior. <laughs> best behavior. And Jane's them, got us. the hammer. She's got the connect, connect hammer. So she'll take you out. She's mean. I've seen her. Uh, Can you say I've it three seen times her. Fast? Canuck, Canuck, <laughs> he knows how to manage people. She sure does. Okay, so here's the team names. The team names that will be playing tonight, and this is going to be a fight to the death or something. <laughs> See, I told you there's a death round. <laughs> For just like Scientology, rights. the truth For, comes out at the end. Oh, man. Scientology is so interesting right now. Okay, so for bragging rights, we have we have no team name. We can't afford $20 a month to verify one versus absentee-minded versus Canucks against, against hammers versus Twitter quitters versus in politics. Absurdity is not a handicap. And we have five rounds tonight. And I see two of the people who are writing rounds are not here yet. <laughs> not panicking at all. Let me look on my, my messages. Deborah's on here, should, should be here at seven. Uh, Caspian has a round. Let me make sure he knows. <laughs> Robin does know. Well, worst case scenario, Robin doesn't show up. I can come up with a bonus. Okay. No, I know she will. Sure. Because she, she already talked to me. <laughs> If, if if Casman doesn't show up, I'll redo a, an old a old Gilligan's Island one. Oh, now that you just told us. <laughs> and Paula's on her way here too. Okay, so here we go. I, I actually have two different. I have, an extra, I have a backup topic. Well, you're playing tonight. No, I have one. I have, you're yeah, taking I have My main topic, and then I, if you need one, I have a backup topic. Okay, so we're going to start. No, with can't do two in a team because then that means Susan's on the team twice, and then we're really sunk. <laughs> <laughs> so for those yeah. people who don't know i'm going to go because somebody else is going to read their questions and i am not aware of any of these questions i have no clue i don't even know what the category is that they're going to come up with so i will be playing in their place on their team and while i do the camera will follow the video will play and record of that team so that's how it works i am absolutely no help and if i really don't know the answers i'll just try to talk you out of the questions that you're are pretty sure of so i'm kind of a wild i'm a wild card you know wild all right don't, don't let susan talk you out of the right answers <laughs> oh but they might really be wrong so somebody's had to tell you somebody's had to speak to power or, or the other thing she could do is in the limited time we have is just start talking about any topic that has nothing to do with the question it's a waste <laughs> so of what else is new? i'll tell a story so mike mike wolf i understand you have a category for us tonight and a category uh, for tonight i was going to do a third version of different actors in the same character but then i had another idea oh. so making a good movie is hard making a good sequel is even harder Making a good comedy sequel seems almost impossible. Tonight's topic is named the terrible comedy sequel. You will be given <laughs> the year and the Rotten Tomatoes score of the beloved original. 
You also be given the year and Rotten Tomatoes score of the terrible comedy sequel and the partially redacted description of the movie from the Rotten Tomatoes website. All right, boo. Everybody said So there's an overly complicated <laughs> scoring rule. People always ask, will you accept this? Will you accept that? If any team provides the exact title as listed in Rotten Tomatoes of the sequel, including whether they use the Arabic two or the Roman number two, because a lot of them are number two in more ways than one, <laughs> then you need the exact <laughs> title to get the point. If no one gets the right title exactly, then either an incorrect version or the, just the name of the original movie will be accepted. Now note, these may these are all sequels, but they're not necessarily the second one. They might be the third or fourth or however many movies there are in the, uh, they were just terrible. And this is not my opinion. This is based on Rotten Tomatoes score mostly. So all of these are based on original movies that had a fresh Rotten Tomatoes score and sequels that had a very a low or very low Rotten Tomatoes score. So this is a new scoring paradigm. So instead of mono rules, can well, you name these the Wolfie rules? It's, it's we call it the horseshoe rule because almost if you almost have the title, like sometimes people say, oh, will you accept such and such? And then if another my rule is if one so team get gets it, it exactly right, exactly, then you have to get it exactly. If no one, if it's too complicated to get exactly, then approximate is okay for everyone. I'm sure it'll become much more clear in a moment. Killing never okay. Clear as mud. All right, so Mutus. Who has that power? Jane and Mike and myself, but I'm, I'm ignoring that I have this. Jane, is that Jane and Michael? Thanks. Sorry. Okay, number from, one. What's that from? George Sanders, Otto Preminger, Eli Wallach, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Check your chat, everybody. Oh wait, don't say anything. Wait, wait a second. That was that was from the other topic. That was from same character, different, different. <laughs> no. different How does that relate? Right, actual Jane, number one. I Jane saw that movie. On tomatoes. Jane wants to. If you look behind me, the, that would be. Go ahead, do it, Jane. Thing. Nobody's okay. paying All attention. Right. Mike, I'm going to mute everybody. You'll have to unmute yourself. Okay. Second. All right. Question number one. In 2001, the original scored 64% on Rotten Tomatoes. In 2016, the sequel was a mere 22%. Former redacted, redacted and redacted, find themselves thrust back into the spotlight after living in seclusion for years. Invited to a major fashion event in Rome, the estranged friends are surprised to see how much the business has changed. Even more shocking is their encounter with Redacted, a special agent who needs their help. Someone is killing famous pop stars, and it's up to Redacted and Redacted to help save the world's most beautiful people from a similar fate. The Redacted is generally if like the character's name, which is sometimes the name in the title, then I've had to redact it. It just, but you, see, you get that. Number two, the original, beloved in 70, in, in the original came out in 1980 with 72% on Rotten Tomatoes. The sequel came out in 1988 with only 4% on Rotten Tomatoes. Redacted, a boorish but good hearted real estate tycoon, applies for membership at a snooty Redacted, but is blackballed by the old money wasps led by Redacted. As revenge, he simply buys the club outright and turns it into a garish amusement park. Redacted wants to win the property back by challenging Redacted to a golf match, but he hedges his bets by hiring deranged mercenary Redacted to eliminate his competition. Number three. I'm so used to blank. This is throwing huh? me. Huh? What? I'm so, I'm so used to blank. This is throwing I... me, the Redacted, but, the, but continue. Changed it. It's different. But you get you understand what we mean there. In 1994, the original scored 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, in 2005, the sequel scored a mere 6%. A cartoonist and family man, Redacted, lives a peaceful existence with his wife, Redacted, as well as their infant son and dog. When the curious canine finds a Redacted with mystical properties, Both dog redacted try to contain the damage. The sly redacted god redacted comes looking for the artifact, resulting in more mishaps.
that ultimately incur the wrath of the deity's powerful father redacted. Did you get Damn, I hope somebody knows these answers. I'm confused. Number four. The original in 1984 had an 83% score. This, this sequel in 1994 had only 9%. When his boss is killed, redacted cop redacted finds evidence that the murderer had ties to a redacted amusement park called Wonder World. Returning to redacted once more, redacted reunites with detective redacted to solve the case. Along with redacted's new partner, redacted, they discover that the security force of Wonder World is actually part of a counterfeit money operation headed by park manager Redacted. Number five, the original in 1985 had 87%. The sequel in 1988 had only 38%. Playful Redacted operates a fantastical farm with talking animals and hot dog trees. One day after a giant tornado hits, Redacted finds a circus has landed in his yard. He befriends the manager, Redacted, and develops a crush on a trapeze performer, Redacted, even though he already has a fiance, Redacted. Redacted tries to excite the town about the new circus, but most of the residents want it gone and harass Redacted because of it. Number six, 1989, the original had 83% on Rotten Tomatoes. In 1994, the sequel had 5%. The Redacted, an endearing assortment of oddballs who improbably won the division championships last season, have since lost their edge due to personal pursuits and the excesses of fame. Redacted does lucrative endorsements, but his killer Redacted is gone. While once aggressive Redacted, Redacted has become a laid back Buddhist but as the players realize they've all gone astray, they rally for a shot at the World Series. Number seven, the original in 2000 had a Rotten Tomato score of 84%, the sequel in 2010, only 9%. After 10 years of marriage and two children, it seems that Redacted has finally earned a place in the circle of trust of his uptight father-in-law, Redacted. However, Redacted is moonlighting with a drug company, which raises Redacted's suspicions. As two clans descend on the scene of the young twins' birthday party, Redacted must find a way through myriad misunderstandings to prove to Redacted once and for all that he is worthy of being the next family patriarch. Ooh, almost, almost left the uh, answer in the question there. Number eight, 1981, the original had 89% on Rotten Tomatoes. In 1988, the sequel had only 13%. Redacted's wife, Redacted, goes back to work when the tippling Redacted heir loses his money and hits Skid Row. Number nine, the original in 1977 had 78%. The sequel in 1980, 17%. Folk hero Redacted has fallen on bad times, but comes to life when he is hired to tra help transport a pregnant elephant to a Republican convention in Dallas. Arch enemy Redacted catches wind of the deal and resolves to spoil the Redacted's comeback. And finally, number 10. In 1985, the original scored a 77% on Rotten Tomatoes. In 1989, in 1989, only 37%. Redacted is one of the best investigative reporters in the country, and he'll need all his skill when he becomes the main suspect in a murder case. After inheriting a Louisiana plantation from a distant relative, Redacted makes the journey from Los Angeles to check it out. When he winds up in bed with a lawyer, who in turn winds up dead the next morning, Redacted has to solve the crime before he ends up behind bars for someone else's misdeed. Now, again, remember, whoever's writing down 
these answers, if it's make sure it's the exact title as it appears in Rotten Tomatoes, including if it's the number two, write two, or if it's I, I, like a Roman number tool, write Roman number two. Again, if nobody gets the correct, exact correct answer, then we'll accept a looser version of the answer or the name of the original movie. But if any, if any team does get the exact, perfectly spelled answer correct, then that's the only thing that will be accepted. Mike, right, did you say these were all comedies? They're all comedies. I mean, some of them are like action comedies, but they're all nominally, you could, you could easily describe them as comedies. Mike, the plot descriptions are for the original film? The plot descriptions are for the sequels, the terrible the sequel. sequels. All right. And Rob, they're all comedies based on their definition of comedy. The viewers didn't necessarily consider well, it. Well, I mean, Rotten Tomatoes doesn't <laughs> classify, but yeah. They're I, not really I mean, they're obviously the one that were not funny. Comedies. Yeah, I want, I mean, I want Kyle I mean, to do a data analysis, as he mentioned last week, of, of the length of all of these compared to anything I've done. I want you to do that, Kyle. <laughs> all right, yeah, I owe you that. <laughs> in this to our rooms. Some of these definitely become qualify clear as to all those TV. people out there who are going, oh, what the hell? No, it won't. No, it won't. No, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in yeah, room I'll, put, four. I'll put those others in the rooms that need to go in the rooms. Kevin, you're in um, four. Four. Robin, you're in five. Janine, okay. I'm going to put you in two. Oops, where'd you go? Janine's going to two. Deborah, you're going to four. All right. You can yeah. you'll probably most likely get a board just okay. to add. Sometimes you just add the number yeah. two to it we'll as long try. as nobody else figures it out. All right. So number one, I think, is a sequel to Zoolander. Okay, I didn't see either. But I don't know what the... I didn't even know Zoolander had a sequel. So. Yeah, I, I think you're right. <laughs> oh, I, I, I vaguely probably remember lie. that being advertised. Yeah, I first thought Zoolander, but then I was thinking... Um, the Austin Powers thing. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oh, I love the Austin Special Powers. agent. Mm, killing pop stars. Right, it's a major fashion event in Rome. Strange mm. friends. Right. So I did not see Zoolander. Was he an agent? I don't what think he's a fashion Powers. model. Well, the, what was happening was they were killing famous models in the first one. Okay. You know what? Austin Powers is a really good answer for one of these things. But Austin, Austin Powers, I don't think like Austin Powers had a sequel before, like this is 2001 to, and then the sequels in 2016. So there was a 15 year. Oh, I'm talking about one of the other questions. She's just yeah. throwing it out as an option if we can't figure yeah. out one of them. Okay. So, all right. So yeah, because I first put Zoolander as well. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But I didn't I, the whole secret agent thing threw me off. So, so could it be Zoolander? Too? Well, it says special agent needs. Well, they're all two, but we just don't know. Yeah. Unless somebody happens to know it, we're probably not going to get any of the titles exactly. Yeah. Like the only one I know, I'm pretty sure I know. I don't know this, the sequels because it sucked and I didn't go see it. I, I know mm -hmm. they. <laughs> but you don't know it sucked until you didn't go. No, so come bet, on. Found well, out put, put, there's put, reviews all over the place. Let's put Zoolander down and then just come back. Yeah. Once we yeah. Time to think. yeah, because that's the first thing I thought. Yeah. All right. Number two is a Caddyshack sequel. Uh, the golf makes sense for that. Yeah. That's what I thought of, but I didn't remember there was a sequel. There were several Caddyshack sequels. Okay. Uh, cartoonish, cartoonist and family man. Cartoonist. Mm -hmm. Infant son and dog. Wait, is this is this a uh, Family Guy? No, Family Guy came out in the two thousands. All right, we're gonna fix this right now, Paula. My guess here. could it be the Untouchables? Not Untouchables. No, the uh, first movie came out in ninety four. Not Untouchables. What's the name of it? The Stretchy People. What's the name of that one? That's the oh, oh, I love the Incredibles that. came out. The Incredibles came out in the early two thousands. The Incredibles uh, were incredible. Yeah. 
When the curious canine, could it be Scooby Doo? A cartoonist and family man. It's mystical properties. I don't think they would have had mystical properties in Scooby Doo. So they they're like in the deity. No, that doesn't sound like a Scooby Doo plot. I just brought Paula in here. Did she just not show up? Mm -hmm. Let's come back it's to a, it. It's a cartoonist. Show. A cartoonist. So the person's occupation is he's a cartoonist. So he yeah. draws. So yeah. I don't. So they don't have any cartoonists in Scooby Doo. Right. <sighs> the dog is supposed to be curious. Aye, aye, aye. All right, wait, can, can we do the ones that we think we know first? Just yeah. So there... number six is one of the major league movies. Yeah, major league. That's what I, I had to That's what I thought too, but I don't mm -hmm. know the name. I'm not yeah. sure which one. All right. Um, I think I think eight is author. Yeah, that's what author? I thought too. Okay. Number seven is Arthur. Meet the Falkers. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Well, I, mean, I saw that. I mean, the you, you saw Meet the, the Parents and then Meet the Falkers. I saw both. I did see both. The yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Okay, that's good. But like, what? So it was Meet the the Falkers. So it's meet like Falkers, but take the U and make yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and that was the sequel's name, right? So yeah. How are we doing? Hey, I'm not killing my own team, am I? Yep. Maybe uh, a little bit, yeah. but all right. I remember. When you're writing down the answers, specify like if it's my Arabic two Mike, or Roman Mike. number two. We it doesn't know, matter. Mike. We're not going to know exactly. We don't know if we're going to get that. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can guess, but you can. We, some of them are going to be, you know, like Ram, like Rocky two had the Roman numeral two. Some sequels are used an Arabic number two. Okay. All right. So, so then, so that, so then, so then, in that regard, for number eight, I would go with the Arabic number two. I don't okay. know if it had a subtitle, but. And Sometimes what is, they have a subtitle. You said it was Arthur. Yeah. Like the Arthur. name. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But again, if no one gets the exact title, then as We're, long as I, we, I get it. we get it, we get it, we get it. Go bother somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> Try to figure out what somebody <laughs> should have to be mean. Redacted. Redact yourself. Oh, wow. Redacted. <laughs> redacted. <laughs> Number nine. I like how you redacted. use redacted. Okay. Yeah. What, okay. what else? What else do we think we know? Anybody? Else? Is everybody else doing Mike? I always oh, thought. <laughs> Does anybody so know nine? Nine, nine. I was thinking, uh, smoking the bandit, the second, the one oh where they God, kidnapped the. Like they had a. Elf. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes. What the hell is this? Oh, my wife. I don't know, but am I right? We named our cat Smokey and the Bandit because she liked. I movie. don't know. Let me ask her if she knows the sequel. No. Okay. So while he's gone, um, who was a transporting a pregnant elephant to the Republican convention in Dallas? Transport a baby elephant? That's number nine, yeah. Did he transport? Did they have oh, that's like number nine, okay. Beer yeah. or All right. for the, well, the then, um, Do you remember the name of it? Who slept with the yeah, lawyer that died? Thanks, that's good confirmation. Was that the Godfather? And that's supposed to be comedy. I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, she agreed with the elephant was being smoking the bandit too, but of course doesn't remember the name either. Okay. I don't think that's the Godfather, Susan. It's not comedy. Right? It's supposed no. to be a comedy, right? It's a comedy. Yeah, Godfather. nobody would call the Godfather comedy. Wait, which one were you doing with the Godfather? Well, very you didn't laugh through the whole mind. thing? No. No. <laughs> Especially the dead horse head. In the Number head. three. That was, I was not in the first one. That was, I mean, that was in the first one. That's true. Which one are you working on? I'm just Jane trying. and I are really holding out here. <laughs> I mean, just some of these probably are like really fucking bad. Jane's gonna come in in a minute and go. Oh. All right, here's the real answers. You guys don't mess like around. Number four, the amusement park called Wonder World. <laughs> That's striking a bell, but there's right, with a I'm eating Halloween candy. So somebody was with in the in the, in the first time. version, something with with a detective, along with a new partner. So there was something in the first movie was with a detective, and in this one he rejoins that, and then there's another one. Who would that be? I don't know. Wasn't there ever like get ago. smart? Uh, or pink Panther? Could it be a Pink Panther movie? Oh, the Pink Panthers were great. Uh, it was pink more, Panther Returns. My, a little older though, I thought. My mother the car came. Oh my god, did we actually watch that movie? My mother the car. They did a movie? Yes. Where's Paula? I remember that. Anyway. 
Uh, I, I like uh, a, I like a mic. Thought we were going to get these exactly. Make sure you spell them all right, right? The right version of the number. It's like, are you freaking kidding? You're just going to get unless unless Kevin knows these. I think we're fine. Uh, Carl's going to know them. Carl. Carl's going to freaking know them. You really think so? He knows everything. Oh, so we just need the answer to three, four, and ten. The questions have continued. Wait, wait, so we have we five? five? I we know, five? me too. What's five? What's five? Yeah, I don't know what five. I'm going to know the five, sense. sorry. You know the answers. Sorry, you know the five. answers. It makes total sense. Yeah, three, four, five, and ten, sorry. Giant tornado. Fantastical farm with talking animals and hot dog tree. What the hell? Is that, is that, um... What the hell? Dr. Doodle? No, Dr. Doolittle came out in like the 60s. Yeah, no. No, but the, the second 70s. one, there was a second one, but that was. Right, but this one, the first movie came out in 85. Oh, how about Charlie and the, jo Charlie no. and the Chocolate Factory? They had a they had a sequel. No, they didn't have a sequel. Or NATO hit. Yeah, it was called. Um... Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory were remakes. They weren't It's sequels. the remakes, yeah. I know, but there was a third one. Wasn't there one that had to do with <laughs> Charlie and. It's Charlie, Charlie and the Great the... Glass Elevator, and they never. Made yeah, yeah, it. Charlie they and the never, Glass Elevator. They never made a movie about it. Oh, well, maybe yeah. they should have. I don't know. The sequel with Johnny Depp wasn't that great. So right. what, Mike, what Mike wasn't getting was he said, "Well, you all would know the first movie." Well, no, if five is the description of every single point in here, it could not have been in the first movie. It could have been the same characters. Some people will know these, Rob. Well, I said, I know who's going to know them. But like he might not have had a fantastical farm with talking animals and there was no tornado. So all of the points in here do not help you if you saw the first movie, even. Possibly. Then we'll tank. That's okay. Uh, I'll be on to the next team. Uh, <laughs> in a minute. Which one are we on? Anyone you can figure out. Three, four, five, or ten. Three, four, five, or ten. So Wonder World, could that be... How about how about Max? Mad Max? No, it's not, not a, a comedy. comedy. Mad Max. Could Wonder Return World be a comedy. National Lampoon movie? Ooh. Yeah, I was thinking of that, but but I think it was Wally World. Yeah, Mad Max, the comedy. Yeah. And Max was never a comedy. <laughs> That's why the the ratings are so low. They what were clown. Future? The people of the future were clown clown noses. And they, they go around and they, they sing. They but, sing but, yeah, to... but he wasn't a cop, was was he? Yeah. Wally World, all that. I don't remember. He wasn't a cop. That's right. You're right. So, um... <sighs> all right. So, so go to number 10. Could it be RoboCop? Not a comedy. RoboCop, the Please. comedy. <laughs> Not a Could it be Judge comedy. Dredd? Could it be... Uh... Not a comedy. Hold, hold on, there was cop movies. <sighs> wait, to... wait, so go, go with number 10. The only thing in that is the first sentence, which would have been true in the first movie. Is there, is there, I don't remember a movie from 85 about an investigative reporter, the best investigative reporter in the country. And then this is another thing they talk about. We wouldn't know any of that if you just saw the first movie. Was there a 1985 movie about an investigative reporter, the best in the country? 1985. Yes. Um, and it's a him. I need his skill. He becomes the main suspect in a murder case. I don't know. Investigator. The Terminator. The <laughs> comedy. Um, it comes back as a washing uh, machine. Truth Beverly Hills, too. I don't know. I know, seriously, yeah. Troop? He's, he's coming over. He's he's a Terminator that that like washes your dishes and uh, and he hangs out the clothes. Robocop made. Made of cop. Right. So I'm looking through them again. Number four gives you no clue at all about what the first one was about, even the character of the first person. But number three does. So if there was a movie 1994 about a cartoonist as the main character, and then all the rest of this could be. Hold on, movie. hold on, uh, hold on. Could number ooh, four the could no, no, could number four, what is what is the movie? He was the police officer who dated Lisa Marie Presley. She was the actress in the movies. They had multiple sequels. Leslie Nielsen? Leslie Nielsen, what were those movies? What Airplane. Were 
Not no. airplane. Lisa Sounds Marie airplane. Airplane too. The gun? Uh, yeah, uh, 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 smoking gun? Naked gun? Naked, naked gun. gun. One of the gun. naked gun movies. The naked gun. Naked gun? Naked, the gun. <laughs> naked gun three. Uh, naked gun three and a half. <laughs> they did that, didn't they? All right. All right you guys about done? Yeah. No. Uh, no. Yeah, go ahead and pause that. Number four, number four is naked gun three and a half. Okay. Well, all right. So what's the mic? If you if you think you know the whole thing, and like we say three and a half, but that's not the right title. It is Naked Gun, and no one else gets the exact title. Do we get a point or not? Because we yes. wrote Naked Gun three and a half. Okay. As long as it's Naked Gun and not okay, you know. I gotcha. All right. But if anyone does get the exact title, yeah, I gotcha. Okay. It has to be We're exact. screwed. Wasn't there a guy that right. I could it's close all rooms? Room. All right. Oh, ooh, Five ooh, has no ooh, clues ooh. as the person. Number three is the mask two. The comedy. No, Son of the Mask. Number three, Son of the Mask. Okay. I didn't even know there was a sequel to that. Wow. Yes, there was. Yes, there was. And thank you so much, Ramirez, because that was an awful fucking movie. I never saw it, but that is a really he good He was guess. a cartoonist and family man? Yes, yes, because just just let's go with it. Okay. Let's go. Let's right. go. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, I, number 10, we need to make something up. Five and 10. Five and 10. Five and 10. The Terminator. Five. five it's not the Terminator. A five comedy. Is <laughs> Dr. Doolittle 2. Number five is Dr. Doolittle 2. Okay. The Terminator, five and a half. Stop it. Um, <laughs> Brothers in Arms. Investigative reporters oh in the country. I the Terminator. I know we got 15 seconds. Investigative there reporters. There is a trash compactor. Well, if anybody Panther thinks of it. three? <laughs> sure. Why not? Wow. Well, 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 you guys are killing me. Move from LA, I guess. Yeah. This meeting is being recorded. Oh, good. Well, well, fine, snazzy little voice lady. Wow. That's I've new. never heard that voice before. That's new. Okay, yeah. so before we get to the answers of that very eloquent whatever. Verbose. Uh, Verbose. Caspian isn't going to be okay tonight. He's he's ill. So oh. he's going to have, so I need somebody who would have been in his room, which is team four. That would be Kevin, Ben, Vincent, Wendy, or Deborah, who has a category. I I am not in that room, but I do have an extra category. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Kevin does. He always I does. One hundred percent kill my team, but I I could just pick a bunch of random questions from stuff I've done in the past. Yeah. If you want to do that, Wendy, Deborah, Vincent, Kevin, Ben. That's all we got is random questions that Kevin's done in the past. I don't you know, have. I'll anything. go back and just pick a random one that you know from. Each Again, category. I've got, I've got a full category ready. Lockers, yeah, but then that would really take it. Wait till you see how bad your team did this time. Lockers, my team's not going to win anyway, so it doesn't matter, anyway, so it doesn't matter, matter that we have. I'll put Kevin. Guys. Kevin, you could do it. I'll come up with something during question. the break. Okay. I'll come up with something during the break. All right. So let's go for it. Hey, hey, Kevin, forward. you could do what I think uh, Carl did once and pick like one from each of your categories you've done. Yes, like. that's what I'm thinking. A memory yeah, thing. Yeah. 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 yeah I'll yeah, go Randy. back and, yeah, because I have them all in one text file. I'll get some favorite Kevin's ones. Greatest hits. Yeah. Yeah. There oh, you go. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So, so uh, should we just It'll go be a to question and, and you get a bonus if you guess the yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> just get the answers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you everyone ready for the answers? Sure. Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> Knock yourself out. Tell us the names of these yes. movies which nobody saw. All right. saw Somebody saw them. Mike saw them. Uh, yeah. Maybe. And I will paste all of these into the uh chat when it when it's when it's done. So you can okay. Okay, number one. Uh, two, two, two. Uh, my computer is a little Zoolander yes. number two. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. two. So we got Zoolander 2 without the N-O in it. Right. Did Is anyone get that exactly correct? Yes. We I didn't put N-O-2, N-O but we put Well, two. then if you didn't put N-O-2, then it's not exact. So nobody... Oh. If, if nobody got it exactly like it appears there on the poster, yeah. then anything with the word Zoolander in it yes. is acceptable. I don't like that they put the people in the picture and then their names are above them and the names don't match the I people in the picture. I completely agree with you on <laughs> yeah. that. That's, that's why, that's why, is that Ben sure Stiller that's, in the red? Why, yeah. No, no, no yeah, that's exactly because of, of, of a different person than the person who's in yeah, charge who of the right. Who gets top billing. Th- th- that's no. why the picture's yeah, so, you know, like tanked, that. clearly. They, they, that's just stupid. 
It's yeah. because of con contractually, right. Ben Stiller has to have his name first on the poster. Well, they should have moved them around the in the picture. Why is the last line on it in French, I think? All right. What is that about? All right. Number two, 12, 12 I'm sure you guys February. are all like a perfume, I think. Caddyshack 2 with a Roman number number numeral oh. 2. Oh. Team oh. 1 got it exactly right. So All right, so with Roman numeral 2? Yeah, yeah, with Roman numeral 2. One got it exactly right. That if that anyone cool. did not get Caddyshack 2 with Roman numerals, then that's it. Number 3. Huh? Actually, number three, the poster is wrong because it is actually Son of the Mask. Yes. Oh, hey, that's cool. Good job. I don't know why this is called the mask too. But what if we got the mask too? That's what we said. No. Well, I, okay. Because I screwed this said. up. Yeah. You said what what Rotten Tomato says. It might it might have been different names in different countries. So this yeah. you know might have been Canada. Yeah, it could be. You know, that they far different of the mask. Canada, they used a different. But title. because I screwed up this poster, you used we're the gonna accept any poster. anything with regard to the mask. Yeah. Okay, Yay! Number four. Beverly Hills Cop 3. Oh. Roman numeral 3. Oh. Did anyone have the Roman numeral correct? We did. Oh, we, no, we used, didn't we use the Arabic 3? No, we used the Roman oh. numerals. Oh, okay. All right, well then, so we're going with the exact numero on that one. So there's Big Top Pee Wee. Yeah. You got it. Yay. Ah, crap. Right. <laughs> Number six. So Major we had League Two, the Roman numeral oh, two. We got that one too. So you didn't necessarily pick the worst sequel. Did anybody get that one exactly? Yes. Yeah. 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 With Roman numeral two. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Roman numeral two. Did you not All write right. that down, Faith? Number seven. I, did wait, we, wait a minute. Did you? I didn't, I did. put, a, I didn't put a number down. Did you? I, we I, wrote I, it. We, we I, did. I did. We were written on Roman. You put the numeral, Roman, Roman numerals down. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Number seven, Little Fockers. This, oh, is, no. this is actually the third oh, in the series. Oh, no, right. Little Fockers. Wait, did anybody get that? Yeah. No, we said meet the Fokker or Fokker. Yeah, we said, yeah. So so did nobody get Little Fockers? We got, we got Little, little Fockers. Fockers. Oh, you did. Yeah. And here's another one where I think there probably oh, should be colon. Yeah, yes. we were. But yep. we'll accept oh, Arthur. because the poster is different than what it, it is on the web page. We'll accept anything for Arthur too. Yes. No, why? It has to be on the rocks though. No. Why are you? Yes. You're not you arguing. They told everyone right. that it needed to have a call. Hey, everybody's got to be nice. Oh, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Wait, 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 See everybody smiling. Nice. 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 <laughs> I'm clear. Anyway, I'm, I'm not clear on what's acceptable here. Okay. Arthur two on the rock. Number nine, Smokey yeah, and the yeah. Bandit two with a Roman numeral two. No, that, see, now I'm hearing different things. We didn't put on the rocks. Did we get a point? No. Yes, Mike? we get a point. Yes, you do. If you did yeah, not, do not for Arthur two, Karen. anything is accepted because yeah, Karen. the poster screwed it up. You're Karen. <laughs> oh, no. yeah, we had Smokey and the Bandit, but we didn't have a Roman numeral. We had a number two. And that does not count. It has to be Roman numeral two for smoke. Did anyone get Roman numeral two? No, I wrote the. No, I wrote we put two because I we can't remember two. what has Roman well, then, numerals and what then doesn't. Everybody gets the point. Yeah. That, mo that, that movie did not seem worthy of Roman numerals. So I and number <laughs> 10, Chevy Chase. Fletch, Fletch lives. lives. Um, Just Fletch, Fletch lives, lives is what we're looking for. Yeah. Oh, we got that one. Uh, we got that one. And did anybody uh, get the full title? Tri tri no, trivia of trivia. Yeah. Trivia yeah. of trivia. In The Good Place, one of the characters is stuck in some limbo land, and the only videotape she has is Smokey and the Bandit 2. Uh, <laughs> oh, I remember that. Poor lady. I've never even seen the first one. All right. So thank you for that. Really cool. Very yeah. interesting category okay. that some people did really. So somebody did get right Fletch now. Lives exactly. Yes. 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 Okay. We got Fletch lives. I needed. Yes. I couldn't hear anybody say yes because too many people were saying no at the same time. <laughs> so all right, let's like, go in, in, in the future. We can go through all of them yes again. No, people with nose be silent. No, don't go through them all again. We got right. it. Okay. No, we're just make up whatever scores. It's in the chat. Points you want. Yes. Thank you. We're in the scores now. So. As, as people who are new are seeing, it is we don't have a clue what the categories could be. And the next one is probably going to be Summer Olympic Sports or something. I don't know. All right. So we have no team name. We can't afford a $20 a month to verify one. Six, I believe. Anybody backing up on that? That makes sense, Faith? You're muted. 
Six? Yes, we got. How did that happen? <laughs> I was on that team. Well, we were trying not to listen to you, distract us. Yeah. Okay, absentee minded. Four. Okay. Canucks ag against hammers. Count the barks. Sorry. Five. <laughs> Jules giving us the barks. All right. <laughs> Very barky. Quitter thing. quitters. Four. And in politics, absurdity is not a handicap. We had 10. Oh, no. oh. wow. What? Did I not say that, people? We had Carl. What can I tell you? Did I not tell you, <laughs> Susan? You guys said Kevin would know them all. No, I think we just keep putting Susan on Carl's team just to sort of offset each other. I know questions once in a while. I know answers once in a while. Our, our score would be doubled the if the scoring was different. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thank you, Mike, for that very interesting category. Yay! <laughs> we all love Mike. Where are you, Mike? So I can take away your right. just okay, ripping your privileges away from your. Oh your, man, dang. Oh, Okay, giving your privileges over to Terry. Terry, where are you? She's so right here. She's going to give us something nice and wholesome. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be milk duds and cows, right? Sort of. Oh, oh, okay. What do you got? All right. This is Kansas Trivia Second Edition. Oh, See, God. I told you, wholesome Kansas. All right. All right. <laughs> Is that a two or is it the Roman numeral two? <laughs> it's spelled out second. Oh, okay. It, it's okay. It's in hexadecimal. Uh, shall I mute everyone or what's the deal? Sure. You guys want to just chat? It's okay by me. No, <laughs> we'll get points for that. Okay, I'm going to mute you all and then I'll unmute mm -hmm. myself. All right. So let's do this first one, number one. That isn't it. I didn't copy it yet. I think these are easy, but what do I know? I live in Kansas, right? Okay. Number one. Thirteen miles southwest of Independence, Kansas, this museum stands on the land where a young girl lived with her family in a one-room log cabin in 1870. What is the museum's name? Do we have these Roman numerals up? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm I'm pretty nice about it. I mean, if yeah. you, it She's... doesn't have to be like perfect, you know, just, yeah, the gist of it. Number two, who is the current governor of Kansas? Number three, the 1918 influenza pandemic may have started in Haskell County, Kansas, where the first known cases were documented. Young men were dying of la grippe or pneumonia, especially soldiers at Camp Funston in Fort Blank, Kansas. Camp Funston was the U.S. Army's largest training facility. Name this fort. Number four, what is the Kansas State reptile? Number five, what chant is associated with the University University of Kansas sporting events? Stop the count. Stop the count. <laughs> Number six, this hamburger chain started in, in Wichita, Kansas. Currently, none of these restaurants are currently open in the entire state but there are 377 locations across 13 states. In 1921, Billy Ingram launched this family owned business with $700. The current slogan is please is because the crave is a powerful thing. Number seven, although born in Texas, his family moved to Abilene, Kansas when he was two years old which former American president considered Ab Abilene his hometown? That's Kansas, not Texas. Number eight, on May 17th, 
the U.S. Supreme Court announced its unanimous ruling on what would become a landmark case. This decision determined that separate but equal was inherently unequal and helped launch a movement. What was the original Kansas court case? Number nine. In January 2005, Bobby Henderson, a 24-year-old Oregon State University physics graduate, sent an open letter to the Kansas State Board of Education. In his letter, he satirized creationism by professing his belief in what monster? And number 10, born in Stockdale, Kansas, this food editor wrote in the 1960 book, How America Eats. Tell me where your grandmother came from and I can tell you how many kinds of pie you serve for Thanksgiving. This journalist covered the food stories behind the great events of the era, such as Queen Elizabeth II's coronation and Winston Churchill's Iron Curtain speech. This writer joined the New York Herald Tribune in 1936 and stayed until its demise in 1966. And that's it. Cool. All right. Very wholesome, thank you. <laughs> you know me already. So, milk duds, anybody want any milk duds? What do, what do, how do I send people to their rooms? Open you, all rooms? You take your magic wand and you go, yeah. oh. or you use your powers of your mind. Let's see if this does it. So you did it. Okay. So it. Hello, team. I'm here to help. You're here to tell us everything about Kansas. I am. And I'm here on the corner of the screen. Hi, Jason. <clears throat> All right. Let's get down to it. I know one of them. Number one is Laura Ingalls Wilder, right? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm. But is that the name of the is museum? Is that the name of the museum? I don't know. Or is it Little House on the Prairie Museum? Mm. Or Little Museum on the Prairie. Our Little I Museum on the Prairie. Museum Laura the Prairie. Ingalls Wilder is the name of the museum. What's it called? The Laura Ingalls Wilder Museum. I think so. Okay. Although I didn't think that Kansas had that one, but I think, yeah. This Mint is where she. Really live. Yeah, but... Okay, right. there's a current governor. It's a woman, right? Is it a woman? So. And she's a Democrat and, and Brownback was out and I can't remember. She was a Republican that was kind of okay with um she was like, didn't she isn't she the one that said, Oh, come on now, you better put your masks on. That lady. Mm, I don't know. Wasn't that Kay Ivy? Yeah, no. I remember Brown. Back, She's not Kansas, right? though. Oh. Allison, you know all the politics. Come on. I do not. Yeah, you do? <laughs> I know a lot of them, but not this one. I know KIV. KIV sound more south. I don't Let's remember. Which back, Mississippi or something. Alabama. Alabama, maybe. Okay, so who's the current governor? Is male or female? Probably. <laughs> I think it's a Democratic female. Who could that be? I don't think because that's going to get Brownback, us going. Brownback just wrecked the economy of Kansas and, and they went the other way, but I can't remember her name. You're that, you're closest to her right now in New Mexico. Is it that the Gnome, N-O-E-M or something like that? I see Gnome. No, that's the one of the Dakotas, right? That's the goes okay. Yeah, that's right. That's up. That's further north. Uh, yeah. So we figured out it's a female. Why don't we come back to it? We're spending yeah, a lot of time. Nobody really back. knows. Okay, number three. Assume that's Leavenworth. I think you're right. I like it. It's in Kansas. I'm pretty sure that's right. I think that's right. Okay, so it's a Kansas State Turt Reptile. Don't they have a lot of deserts over there? What's the Kansas? And, and like maybe the Kansas, maybe the tr it's a turtle and it's on its back and its little legs are going like this. And <laughs> that's supposed to be how you know if you're right. No? I don't think it's desert. It's more plains, right? Isn't it all it's pretty plains? plains. It's, it's, yeah, it's all plains. 
corn. The yeah. tall desert prairie. Sunflowers. The tall grass. A meerkat. <laughs> That's not, not, a a reptile. Reptile. <laughs> not exactly a reptile. The famous, the famous reptile, meerkat. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, these are the ladies. Yeah, I'm training the yeah, yeah. sports teams Salamander. don't have anything that has to do with reptiles. I was going to say salamander too, actually. Salamander? Is I it like wet it. enough for salamander? It's better than what else we have. <laughs> what chant is associated? Yeah, and I'm like, it's not quite, is it dry enough for like a Gila monster? I don't think so. That's what no, I was I wondering, think, yeah. I think it's going to be a turtle or like a salamander or maybe a a newt? newt? Oh, gecko, a yeah. newt? newt or a salamander? I don't know. Mm. Okay. Is it a gecko because Kansas is... Yeah, let's go with gecko. salamander. Oh, it could be a gecko. gecko. Geckos are could be pretty gecko. common. Is gecko in, in Kansas? Is that where they're from? Ooh, I have no, no idea. But Aren't they? Are geckos from the United States? I thought they're Hawaiian. Okay. I thought they were tropical. We have, no, there's a lot I mean, of geckos in Florida. Well, that's tropical. It is tropical, but it's also in the United States. Yeah. Well, I doubt it's barely. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, it's barely. Salamander. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> we can go with salamander. We can stick with salamander for now. Okay. What chant? How would we know what a chant is? You know, it's like hook 'em horns in Texas. This is going to well, be. Well, they're, they're the Jayhawks. Right. Yeah. They go, oh. caw, caw. That's fine. Right. What would they say? Probably profane racist things. I don't know. <laughs> Be nice. Terry's such a sweetheart. It's not mm. let's go Brandon, right? It could be. <sighs> no. Go Hawks. Go, go Hawks. hawks. Or it could be go Salamanders. salamanders. <laughs> Hurry, Santa. <laughs> go Hawks. I mean, it's oh, the Arnie, go, go, University of Kansas Arnie, Jayhawks. Wilder. So get wild with Lori. Go, go Hawks. Okay. We can go with that. The an exclamation point, because you know that's a thing. Yes. Okay, thanks. You think you feel better. Hamburger chain. You guys, don't you guys have all kinds of hamburger chains out there that we don't have out here? What, what do you got? In and out. In and out, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but I've never heard of Crave is a powerful thing. I think this is an East Coast thing. Is this I've Wendy's never, maybe? No, never heard of it in East Coast. I too. thought, but aren't there more than 377 Wendy's? Probably. Oh yeah, there's like 377 yeah. Wendy's so in New Jersey, be. right? So it's got, it's got to be something less. Is less. it Bob's Burgers or something? Oh, oh maybe Bob's Burgers. Isn't that a question? Robin? What about what about Five Guys? We have a Five Guys. Yeah, we have 1921, one here. though. You know, Five yeah. Guys. Is new. We That's have one, but, new. but it's notable that this. like in Seattle we have like maybe five total. So it's not like there's a lot of them. What? Crave but five guys thing. is new that's yeah like it's not that's like 20 years old or so yeah, yeah. oh yeah uh, that's true so the, the cream, bob's the big cream. boy is good yeah bob's big boy maybe yeah because that's all yeah, bob's big boy is old right that's old, yeah. Yeah. yeah okay i like it the crave is a powerful thing i think i've seen that somewhere but I don't know what it was. Not, not Jack in the Box? No. What's Jack in the Box? I mean, Jack in the Box would definitely use this kind of slogan. This is definitely. I don't think know. Jack in the Box is that old, though. But 377 locations, too. I mean, no, like, it's, it's like pretty Ron old. Says, there's that many it's been in around LA for a while. Oh, OK. So, like okay. a lot of the fast food chains have been around for longer than you think. They were just small yeah. before. Right. They got big recently. All right. Name a president from Kansas, you guys. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> We got a history teacher over here, Let's American history. No. <laughs> Jason, uh -oh. you're a American history Jason. teacher? No, I'm not anymore. Yes, he is. <laughs> I haven't done that for eight years. You always agree with your wife. <laughs> I was going to major in history. I love American history, but I don't know any president. Wait, 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 I do. No. Kansas, Kansas president. Born in Texas. But it says Wait, it's, it's considered his hometown. Doesn't mean that's what he's famous Isn't this for. one of the Bushes? No. Yeah. no Abilene, Texas? No. It's Abilene, no. Kansas, I Kansas. guess. It. Kansas. Born in Texas, went to Kansas. Yeah. No, no, so no. It, I mean, no, I could have sworn Abilene was in vernacular during the Bush era. 
No. Where's Hoover from? But I don't think the family ever Hoover? moved to Abilene, Kansas. Yeah. Isn't that in Maybe Vegas? Not. Isn't that in Nevada? <laughs> the dam. Yeah. The damn it. Damn it. Yeah. Hoover. Um, Jay. Yeah, where was that damn think? Hoover from? I've driven through this. Let me think. I had originally thought Truman, but Truman's. Yeah. Missouri, 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 What about Eisenhower? I think we had a question uh, about Eisenhower before, and I don't think it was. I thought Eisenhower was Texas, wasn't he? Like known for Johnson was Texas. Johnson, Johnson is definitely is Texas. Texas. He's definitely yeah. Texas. Eisenhower. I, I think this is it's a pretty solid. Okay. I, I mean, I his, his museum. His big museum is in Pennsylvania, though. Eisenhower, huh. really? Huh. Well, it's near Gettysburg. There's an Eisenhower. Is that the library, presidential library? I don't think so, though. No, I don't think yeah, it's I, the presidential library. I threw it out oh. because I actually don't know where he's from. So, well, you will soon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, where he's from? All right, moving on. So this is Eight Dred is Scott. Brown versus Topeka. Oh, Brown, no, Brown versus Topeka. Brown versus Topeka. Education. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Topeka. Yeah. But the original Kansas case would be Topeka, is what Jason said. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. And is the it spaghetti monster? monster. Brown v. Board, Board of yeah, Education. Flying, Topeka, Kansas. Nine is yeah. flying spaghetti oh. monster. It's not versus the town of Topeka. It's the Board of Education. Topeka. Yeah. Brown versus Board of Education. Uh, yeah. unless, unless there was an earlier one. Well, I'm concerned that. Leave Topeka, though, Board of more, Education. You could yeah, you put need to keep, parentheses. You need to, <laughs> Yeah, and there may be more plaintiffs than just Brown. Okay. But that's yeah, that's that's the Supreme okay, Court case. Food editor wrote in yeah, the that's the Supreme Court case. I don't know whether the case in Kansas would be have a different name or not. I have no idea who this food editor is. Oh, we're John Yankee. Wait, the 1960 book How America Eats. This is actually a really famous book. Which yeah. I remember. Oh, flying spaghetti. Which one are we on? Is, nine, is number nine really yeah. flying spaghetti? Flying yeah. spaghetti yeah. monster. Flying spaghetti yeah. monster. Okay. It said what FSM. monster? Flying spaghetti. I picked yeah. a monster. She's she, Terry's going to be fine with yeah, either but, one. Yeah. I mean, we like, know who he yeah. is. Because Terry's such an awesome person. He's from Oregon. No, oh, like, look, Terry's no, here. But, Terry's like, here. Yeah. But that's the thing is like ultimately when it comes to the answers, if we've got it, we've got it. And if we don't, we don't. Nobody and checks it. Nobody's work. checking. Yeah. Nobody's reading our except answers. this round. Because some people take they it are, on because this paper. is filmed. I'm here, so it's being filmed. So it is I'm saying. I'm You're just saying cheat, do it in the rounds no, I'm not I'm in. I'm not saying we're gonna cheat, but I'm gonna say if if they are if it's obvious we got the thing then not I'm the not going to be like, oh, my spelling was bad. No. Okay, so go like to two. Called Trump had about Georgia. Zoom up, zoom, zoom, zoom. Current governor of Kansas, we need you guys. We, what happened to 10? Somebody's we thinking about it. That one figured out. Jeff oh. is thinking about it. Okay. Oh, God. He says no, it's like, famous. Yeah, this is, this. like, he is very famous. Okay, about... you think about it in your head. He was on TV. <laughs> His local news show is called How America Eats. Is it James Beard? It's James Beard. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Well, oh. there you go. I thought of him more as a chef That's than a writer, but I guess he did both. Yeah. Uh, known a lot positive, for but... being an editor as well. Okay. Yeah. I think. I'm pretty sure. Because I remember a lot of... I remember reading a lot of takes on these kinds of things. I've been getting into food more recently. So yeah, a lot of this, yeah, a lot of this seems very similar, but I could be wrong. I could be conflating memories. That is a thing. Okay, so. going to question two. Back to the Kansas governor. Of governor. Of Kansas. No idea. Dorothy. I'm be mad when I find out. You went to Dorothy because of Wizard of Oz? Yeah. <laughs> no. What's her last name? Dorothy. 
Gail. Gail. <laughs> Could be. I think that that is perfect. If I think one out of five people in Kansas, that's their name. Yeah, there you go. Well, we know Gail it's a woman, Rich and Killer. Dorothy Gale would be a Democrat. Uh, you know that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Of course. It's better than a blank, and that's what we have. Oh, come on, you guys. I don't think we have number eight right, but I can't figure out how to phrase it. Oh, that's not right enough. No. no. Brown versus Topeka Board of Education. No, it's Brown. I thought it was Brown versus Board of Education. Well, that's that's well, the Supreme Court title. Oh, but, but let me read the question again. For the Kansas. Yeah, I don't know. The original Kansas court case. Oh, I. Mm. The thing is, is that. Sometimes the title gets shortened for vernacular, but it is mm -hmm. actually the uh, it's a it's not factually different. Like they don't change much. Yeah, they might omit a word or two, but it's generally almost identical because the court case itself has to be referenced. Oh, it's by the way, if, that if you haven't if you haven't read it yet, The Onion filed the greatest amicus brief. The greatest. Yeah. Right. Oh, it is for, for this one. No, no, for a different one. I'm. I just give us a link about legal stuff later. Yes, yeah, yeah, later. I send it. Send it to the group chat. Um, I feel like I just want I to apologize it. to the person from I'm, Kansas. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna Sorry, get Terry. Oh, she's here. Right here. <laughs> I didn't know it would be so hard. No, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be this hard. I should know. I'm gonna kick myself. You guys were about ready. Are we? Are we done? Yeah, go ahead and call us back. Oh, yeah. All right. we're as good Susan, as we're, we're gonna be done after this. Me and Jason. Okay. Well, wait for the picture. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Good. Yeah. He's got to okay. see what it's like. I mean, there's. It could be. It could be main. I don't it's know. True. It could be more That's history. True. You never know. Yeah. Main history, that'd be good. At this point, I don't have any faith in myself, but. <laughs> I'm the one that gets to go into the rooms and screw it all up. I don't know any of these things half the time. But once in a while, you kind of figure it out. Yeah. yeah the we teamwork. Had ten, the teamwork. We had 10 of them really right. bugs me. It's got to be. Ten, yeah, we had 10 of them right then. Susan gave us the answers. Now we're not sure we have any of them, so. Yeah. I know mm -hmm. I blew it. I'm sorry. Yep. All right. Good yeah, job, we team. Definitely... The other ones will be down fives yeah. or sixes uh, yep i think you're about right yeah oh. i didn't even think there were 10 facts about kansas <laughs> this, is my this is her second time she's done kansas so there's yeah, I know. plenty I know. there's plenty i mean the state flower yeah the state I did, yeah rock state right. rodent <laughs> the motto the state the state passed okay, i'm done with this is it for kansas i well we have done a lot of states and we haven't hit them all all right and anyone done new jersey has anyone done new jersey yet i, think I did so. it, i did yeah. new jersey and i have a second set of course you do oh god everybody read wikipedia page for new jersey no That's no crazy. no more states no i yeah, like the state the 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 territory to be over doing all my state questions coming up <laughs> so are you ready uh-huh jeff's giving us a link make sure you check this out okay let's be the best amicus brief ever oh, cool. it, okay. it's an amicus brief that is about parodies that is itself a parody okay so make sure you look that up. it's okay. great oh okay oh and it's recent it was just today no it's no no it, it was it's it, last it was month. early in the month oh yeah. it says it has to oh it says today, October 4th, 2022. Oh, that was that just well, a glass. That was a month ago. Yeah. Like that's October yeah, 4th. November oh, that's 3rd. right. This is November. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tomorrow's November 4th. Oh, yeah, that's why there was, wow. That was why there was frost on my car this morning when I got out there. I saw I tomatoes. Do. I do you too. Missed but... the message. Where did the brief go to so we can see it? In the chat. chat. In the chat. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, go yeah. for it, Terry. Need, what, do you, what do you got you need, for it? You need a subscription. I can't open it. Oh, okay. no, I'll, it's, go, it's I'll go get through it. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, we off a Zoom. Oh, no, we, we have a subscription. 
Yeah, you can get to the onion through Facebook. They have a Facebook page. I can get and to it. They show it up in the Facebook on Facebook. That's true. Okay, go ahead. So the museum uh from from the with the log cabin in 1870 is called the Little House on the Prairie Museum. No. Oh, I so. wah, wah, wah. We have 50 50 oh, chance. We got it, didn't we? Yeah. Yes, we did. Yay. Yay. We got a point. Do you accept the Laura, Laura Ingalls Wilder, Wilder Museum? Museum? Why, I don't think so. I mean, I would accept I wrote down team house on, house the, on the prairie. No, because it's not the exact too. title. Okay, so number two, the governor is Laura Kelly. Mm. Oh, I thought I was going to know that. I didn't know that. It's a woman, <laughs> which I thought that was surprising as a woman. Number three, you know, it was a woman. Is she a Democrat? Yes. Okay, well, we knew that much. Okay, well, that's something. <laughs> but that's, we put down Dorothy Gale. So I get a lot of Oz jokes. So the it was Fort Riley. Oh, darn. Ron, darn. you gave us the wrong fort. Hey, but I gave him one that's in Kansas at least. Well, will, that's you take, cool. will you take the original name, which was Fort Wichita? <laughs> oh no, I think its original name was Fort Leavenworth. I think someone uh, got it correct, so we have to accept the correct term. There you go. <laughs> okay, the reptile, which is, I guess, odd, but the ornate box turtle. I thought the moon oh. <laughs> was it lying on its back part? with its feet in the air? Like the legless lizard someone had. Waiting for somebody funny. to turn. Yeah, we so said box idea. turtle. Do we have to have ornate on there? No, or no. It? Box okay. turtle's good enough. Oh, okay. Nice. Whoop. Four for four. Okay. I would love to know if anyone got Rock Chalk Jayhawk. K yeah. Yes. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. What does this, that mean? It I have no idea. It rhymes. <laughs> Rock Chalk, Rock Chalk, it, I read about it and I can't remember now. It's too it was too I funny. don't I have no idea what it means. It yeah. actually rhymes pretty badly, but yeah. But dude, most of you got rock chalk, you're good. A uh, white castle is the uh, oh the, the little slider bag of sliders. Yummy oh. belly bombers. Right. Little Number slice two. of heaven. It, it's seven. what plants crave. We don't have those here. No, we don't. No. Number Unfortunately, seven, we do. It, the Truman <laughs> Library. The Truman Library is actually in Missouri. So this was actually Dwight D. Eisenhower. Oh, 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 oh Jason. Oh, that was going to be my second guess. <laughs> and, Jason got it. I'm good. Yes. I was impressed by you guys getting this one. Some people got it exact, which surprised me. Brown versus the Board of Education of Topeka. Wow, <laughs> Jason got that one too. Yeah. Thank We're you, Kevin. Roll. We're on Brown a roll. Brown versus the Board of Education. Good That's fine. Got it. Yay, Board of Education. And number nine, I love this. I've read the whole letter. It's so funny. I'm sure you guys know the flying spaghetti. It's flying Monster, spaghetti. Yes. yes. May, may he reach may out his be newly touched appendage. By your newly appendage. Yes, may you be touched by his newly appendage. I love it. Okay, and this one would have been a bonus, but we don't do bonuses. So this is Clementine Paddleford. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Obviously, couldn't have been well, number, from the number with 10. That. Did anyone that get right? that? No, we were. I feel like we were close though. <laughs> <laughs> we got tangerine paddle for that <laughs> <laughs> um, paddle right yeah. <laughs> I think we had Mississippi paddle for it. Yeah, aren't they the same thing? What's the difference between a tangerine and Clementine? It's the same thing, very minor awesome. difference. Okay, <laughs> thanks, guys. That was fun. I know tangerine fun. propeller Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Karen. That was fun. Thank you very, very much, Terry. Okay, so let's do our scores. And this is where I get to share my screen. And you guys get to all yell at me because I must be using the math wrong or something, I'm sure. Okay, so let's go with the people in the lowest score. Oh, yeah, see, there's something wrong already. Time to copy and paste your formulas. Well, just because we were feeling, you know, same Z's, we we got a four in the second uh, round as well. Where are you, Jeff? You're in. Um... 
Well, oh, you yeah. went to. We I thought you went to Twitter quitters first. Okay. No, Twitter quitters. Yeah, we no, also three. had a low score. Okay, so somebody better fix my math. Somebody come in here and do it for me. <laughs> Where am I supposed to copy from? The previous. There. Yeah. There. Last last week. But yeah. do I just take that? No. And copy start. That? Well, don't, don't do it now. I'll fix formulas. it. I'll fix it later. But I'll never learn. No, no, yeah, please, no, 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 no. I dragged this little red thing, right? No, 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 no. not yet, not yet. Here's a red, here's a little no, blue thing. No, no, I fixed it's it not that. No, 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 let's just get the scores and let's we won't scores. fix it. I want to learn how to do this. Never, <laughs> never let's not me. learn this break. on stream, please. So the next time I'm at your house, I will show you. Yeah, absentee-minded. This is Terry's group, Terry's team. Oh, yeah. Team, Jeff, absentee oh, minded. Three. I said three like four times. But oh, we could hear you. Or I, I know, know because you kept on trying to do the total. I my team. We have no team name. We can't afford twenty dollars a month. Six. Ooh. See, look, I can't add six Ooh. and six and seven. Oh my God, that's just too complicated. Connects. <laughs> four. See, I got this down here, right? All right. In politics, absurdity is not a handicap. Nine. Oh, God. Oh, they're people. cheating. They're cheating. They must. Oh, have. There's no other. I can they have Carl. They're cheating. They have Carl. Yeah. Carl's right yeah. there. Carl near. lives there. Well, I'll well, just take the credit. I'm from and Kansas. Brandy's from oh, are you really Brandy? Brandy? Kansas people. <laughs> Did you know the box troll was the, the reptile? Um, Robin, when I moved, no, actually, I think Robin came up with that one. But I guessed I it. Yeah, because I so. when I came moved out here, we called me and my siblings called all the desert tortoises box turtles. Oh, cool. It made sense to me. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I didn't really help. <laughs> all righty. So let's do our photo. Everybody look nice and shiny. Put your best smiles on. Shiny. Oh, you're Hello. you're doing fireflies. Happy, happy cool. people. Okay, ready? One, two, and three. Okay, let's see if we got it. Tiny. I see that we have a stand-in for Romero this week. What? Oh, that looks amazing. Oh wow, look at all those shiny, beautiful faces. Okay. Did right. you take a picture that. of a different group? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't smiling in that picture. That's not fair. You want to do another one? No, no, it's okay. I'll never get it as perfect again. I'm a photographer, only does it once. Okay, it's up on my Facebook page. Should you want to look at it? And five minutes. I'm keeping the recorder running. So if you talk about me, I will hear you. So make sure it's loud. Okay. So Peggy, Peggy, and Susan. Uh, Donna Chacon is a friend of Susan. <laughs> so we need to talk why, about is that, why is that weird? I call it two degrees of Salinas. We all know each other. So how does how do you guys know for her? She works for the court. Oh, I noticed she wasn't my Facebook friend. She just posted saying, how do you know my dear friend Susan? And I'm like looking at it going, you're not even my Facebook friend. <laughs> Well, you better friend her on Facebook. Ah, she went to high school with me. She <laughs> thinks I'm a nerd or something. I don't know. I was weird. No, you know, I think she probably had been my friend and then she's using a new profile because she's using some weird name. She kind of, uh, 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 she uses her last name twice, right? Yeah, yeah. Shakon, Shakon. I don't know why she does that. Yeah. So I think maybe she lost her old account and got a new one. Oh, yeah, that's possible. So when things go wrong, it's hard to recover your account. As Kyle recently found out, he had to start a new one. Okay, Susan, uh, I, fi I fixed the, uh, the total sheet. Oh. I'm going for a break. Thank 
see a kitty cat in Deborah's lap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Deborah, do you have all the stuff you need to do our accounting for? Oh yeah, except everything except the time to do it. <laughs> Whenever you are ready. Okay. <laughs> Let me know. Mm. Where is it 107? <laughs> is this that? In Los Angeles, surely not. It was 55 to here. Yeah. It was there was ice on my car this morning. Really? You had ice in your car, really? Wow. Really? Yeah. Really? Really? Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, I'm watching the weather really, really close because we need to drive home. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm, oh, I had I wanted to go up through Twin Falls and we're going over to Flagstaff and back to Las Vegas oh, wow. and up to Reno. And then we need to decide whether we can go inland on 395 or whether we need to go over to I-5 or 101. Yeah. Oh, I heard you talking about the weather. That's just an old picture from a few weeks ago. That's my. <laughs> it's, in a, it's in the low sixties today in LA. It's nice. Where are you, Paula? It's cold. I had to. I had to turn on my seat warmers in my car. Where are you? <laughs> what do you mean? Where are you? Square. Oh, there. Oh, okay. I was looking for. Yeah, a that, that's an old image. It's not. It was not one hundred and seven today. It was. Like Wait till Adrian weeks. gets here. She'll show you a freaking picture. That's scary. What's supposed to be next week? It's not going to stay that cold, right? It mean it where I am? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, it was it wasn't that cold. It was in the sixties or something today. I mean, but it, oh, but that's first thing. Not icy road. I'm only worried about icy roads. No, 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 no. The only way you'd get ice on the road is if you know they closed Tioga Pass or something, and you just okay. Have that way <laughs> this is weather look at she said trick-or-treating it was hot this is the next day <laughs> and then a few hours later it was this big that's calgary oh, oh my god calgary that's oh. upstate new york weather oh my gosh i got uh, i and got I my car it. stuck in a snowbank yeah and, um, yeah i needed help getting it out i was very lucky that i got it that I got help out because I called AMA. What's AMA? Said, AMA, um, American or Alberta Motor Association. It's uh, like, oh, it's they, like calling AAA here, I guess. AAA, yeah. yeah. And uh, they said, oh, well, it's going to be like a 26 hour wait. <laughs> wow. And it's like, <laughs> what? Like, oh, I can't what? wait that long. So. I had to travel a long ways there. I was in the middle of nowhere. There were big, huge buildings where I was at, but fortunately there was some good people that helped me out to get the car out. So wow. I was did, very lucky. Did, did you park and it, the snow happened or did you drive into the snow? By, snow I by drove day? into it by uh -oh. mistake. I didn't <laughs> Nobody's realize. supposed to be going anywhere. <laughs> Everybody's supposed yeah. to be home watching watching the videos on on the video screen and playing trivia. There should be nothing then, else happening. Yeah, but then uh, then there was yeah. another car that got stuck, and I had to wait. Um, but there were some good people that actually went and got this guy, um, uh, gave his car a push, and he got uh, he got out. So. Because I was way up in the north side. I was past the airport. I was so far away. So it was just. So I made sure that today I had the day off. So did not go anywhere. So smart. Yeah. No, I had to. So it was and it wasn't worth the trip to get the webcam because the webcam was crap so <laughs> yeah so it was like well that was a waste of money and a waste of time and a waste of like you know i was like nearly ready my 
hands were knuckle white driving. Oh, how terrifying. Driving, All right. Driving. We're back. Right. Five minutes. Hey, Susan? Yeah. Do you have what do you got for upcoming weeks for categories? You know what? We should probably tell we should probably pick some people, huh? Are you waving your hand? I've got one for two weeks from now. Next week, I don't know whether I'll be able to make it because I have uh, Black Panther tickets. I'm good for next week. Oh, there's a there's a movie coming out. What kind of? I already had Black Panther. It's a sequel. I thought there was. Oh, is it a comedy? No. <laughs> is it a comedy? You know, comedy it? sequels comedy are always sequel. bad. Is it a Roman numeral or? Yeah, yeah. you know, I thought it was the binary. Star Trek. The Star Trek movies, we always said the even <laughs> ones were. Is it the even ones were good or bad? Yeah, the even bad. ones are good. Even ones are Star good. Star Trek ones, the even ones are good. The odd ones are bad. I think Except Nemesis was even, and that was one of the worst ones. So next week I have Caspian and I have Cindy. So you want yeah, to be on, on the following week? I'm, I'm on to you. <clears throat> For next week? Yep. I'm always ready. Okay. <clears throat> I need a bonus. I can do a bonus. Okay. You can put me down for the following week, though. Yes, sir. That will be the 17th. 17th? Mm hmm So next week's the day before Veterans Day. Oh, gee, I don't know if I can make it then. <laughs> it's a big deal. <laughs> hey, in my world, where I worked for 37 years, I... Veterans Day was a day to be terrified of. That is the day you find out if you're prepared for the Christmas season or not. It's mm -hmm. the busiest day of the year. It, would, it started out as our busiest day of the year. It was crazy. <laughs> because we need our pictures in time to send them in our yeah. Christmas card. Yeah. yeah, I had to get the pictures taken in time for Christmas. So here we go. Um, we have some announcements. I'm sure I have an announcement. Let me get my announcement. What's my announcement? Oh, I just had an a interview. Um, just, just got an interview. Came out today. It's uh, uh, Phil Ferguson. You might have met him at uh, Psycon. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys were at Psycon. Like mm -hmm. 15 of you. Here's the um, link to that. It starts about 49 minutes in, and I talk about, uh, what do I talk about? I talk about uh, psychics, and I talk about the Wikipedia project, and I talk about uh, forming new groups, and we're getting the, I think we're going to call it, you know how you used to say, getting the band back together? I think we're going to start calling it getting the groups back together, and I talked about facilitated communication. And Did you talk about the Australian Prediction Project? No. Okay, good, because he's going to have me on for that. So that was okay. Amazing. Good. Oh, you're one of the ones he's talking to. He told me I was the. He had about six people he was going to talk to, and I was first that got back to him. And he he just talked to me yesterday, and it was like, "How about tomorrow?" I'm like, "Okay, tomorrow is great." Um, we got a lot of articles coming out. I have two or three or four articles coming out in Skeptical Inquirer. Uh, online mm -hmm. and i the next one is going to be i think about some of the like the group organization and i think the one right after that is the trivia one i know i keep talking about it but it's supposed to be coming out it's going to have a lot of exciting stuff in it i hope <laughs> and um it's about friendship and togetherness and you know like all that kumbaya mm -hmm. kind of stuff and uh, I think that's what I've got. Uh, Kyle, do you have anything? I do indeed. Yeah, this week on Data Skeptic, I talked to a researcher about not just how you can use AI to do phishing attacks. I'm sure we've all got those. But now how spear phishing attacks, where it might learn who your contacts are and be able to impersonate their style of writing and uh, try and get you to give your credentials that way. So. Look out for the use of AI for this nefarious purpose. We talk about the possibility this week on Data Skeptic. I just listened to that episode, Kyle. That was very Scare interesting, me. and it made me more afraid. I know. I know. You said, I, you said something about well, unless you're like a you know top of a corporation or a millionaire or whatever. But it sounded like the technology is advancing really quickly. Where they're going to be able to get to almost anybody? Yeah, automate it. Yeah. Ugh. Terrifying. Awful. Rob, did you have something? Not imminently. I'm working on two articles for Skeptical Inquirer. One is for a third of my series from three different years to get five or six first timers. And uh, two people playing this game are going to be in that article. And then I'm also doing a new type, which is going to be document the Sunday papers. And I am about half done with getting inputs from people on that. But they'll both be out maybe two or three weeks from now. 
Wonderful. Um, cool. Faith, Faith and Romero's group over there in North Carolina, the Triangle Skeptics, were working on an article right now. They did their first, um, what would you call it, a board? You guys weren't there. You were here at my house, but what was it, it called? Was, um, well, it was uh, uh, science, part of the Science Museum, and it was like for Halloween, uh, adult night at the museum. <laughs> And so we did um, a table and, you know, just like optical visual, visual illusions and um, yeah, so just to do some. So there'll be an article coming out on that. It's being written right now. So it's probably three weeks from now, probably be just because of the queue of all the other stuff that's there. Um, anybody else have anything? If not. I just saw that Oprah endorsed Oz's. No, uh, no. Oh, she we endorsed Fetterman. <laughs> oh, Fetterman. Yeah. Oh, 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 good. Yeah. Oh, oh that's a shot. What? That no, not. A shot. She did not endorse Oz. Oh, wow. Because Despite she kind of got his start. His she sh yeah. still yeah. should be ashamed of herself. She, yeah. she so. should be. But she's so. very, she's very wooey. Yeah. So very Dr. Wooey. Frankenstein wooey. endorsed the the the, the village villagers <laughs> yes. and not the monster he created yeah it's pretty embarrassing yeah, so is, is the press playing <laughs> up this angle that she did that it just probably just happened it just happened as far as Who, i know who's up next is it me or am i in the next round uh you are a fourth uh, so jamie's next okay I'm all right so let's go to let's go to thailand thailand here we go okay. i'm on my way thailand where it's tomorrow yeah <laughs> Well, see, I, I feel great happiness knowing that tomorrow is going to be a day. We're not in an apocalypse or anything. Is <laughs> yeah. Jamie on here? You know, unless Jamie is broadcasting from the fallout no. shelter. No, yeah. no, because he wouldn't have Wi-Fi. No. <laughs> okay, my my category is former names. So many name changes have occurred in the recent past. This has happened to famous celebrities sports teams, corporations, sports stadiums, consumer products, and more. So I'm going to give you a name. You have to provide this former or previous version. So for example, if I give Meta, uh, you have to give Facebook. Okay? That's, that's easy. You gave away Excellent. the easiest one, right? Excellent, Smithers. Excellent. One point for everybody. Oh. Do we have to put the, the Roman numeral behind it? or? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Mike, we love you. Okay. But we're not gonna let it go. No, that's fine. <laughs> it, it, no, with that's the theme of trivia, that's how we have are. Something to talk about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna mute everybody. Okay. That includes you, Jamie. You're muted. Thanks, me. Okay. Anybody else set? We're we're muted. <laughs> okay. First. <laughs> The Pearl Milling Company. These are brief. Number two. Oh, I'm gonna guess. Takes some time. Hold on. Number two. Google. Number three. is Exxon. Number four is The Guardians. Number five is the Altria Group Company. Number six. Copy it. So are these, do you want the current name or the former name or is it sometimes both? Or former, sometimes th these, are, this is, these are the current names and you have to give the former, the previous or former version of the name. Okay. So this is the 
current name, you give the former name. So number six is the company now is known as LG. Number seven. Number seven is the Visa company. Number eight is Nissan. Number nine is the Panasonic Corporation. And finally, number 10 is Lady Gaga. Okay. That's very clear. Thank you for being you. quick. Thank you, Jimmy. The previous names. Can, can, okay. you, can you put four in any more context? That seems like there would be a lot of things that would have been. I think whatever. It'll make sense when we get there. Thank you. You know, just know, you know it. You'll, You'll know it or you know it. All right. Yep. So, uh, Jamie, do I need to fling you from room to room? Yes. Okay. I love flinging him. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> He's on a tablet, okay. so he can't move from room to room. So I have to yeah. fling him. Okay. Um, Jane, do you want to make him make us go to our rooms? I have to figure out how to do that. You've already done it. Oh. Okay. Let me put yep. Allison and Jason back in the rooms. They are okay. two. Okie dokie. I'm going to three. Okay. I'm your new teammate. Okay. That's right. Susan's here. And Lynn and Paul and Cindy, you're muted, just to remind you. I okay, always Jamie. forget that. Oh, I have to send you away. Okay, okay send me where you want. Well, if, well, if he wants to start out here, he can start okay, out here. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could. Well, I like mute. I like throwing them around. Just okay. such, it's such fun because when I move him from room to room, it could be in the middle of a sentence. He doesn't know. It, <laughs> he's just grabbed and thrown, and I'm putting him in a room, and then I'll move him. I can't see what's going on in the room. I just he just will be in mid speech. I have I have four of them. Well, that's more than I have. Well, I have the first one. I haven't seen the whole yet list yet. Okay. okay what so, is that for the first one? What's That's Pearl Mort Mining Company? Aunt Shemima. Oh. And, and, I, and I will give you a bit of trivia on that. Before it was Aunt Shemima, it was the Pearl Milling Company. <laughs> really? Oh, so it went from one to the other? How do you spell Jemima? You don't, um, J-E-M-I-M-A. That's right. I mean, spelling doesn't count. Yeah, I know, but I'm I'm putting it on the official oh, okay. thing, you know. So I've got oh. an official thing. Google was alphabet, wasn't it? Yes. Oh, I forgot about that. What is it? Yes. Alphabet? Alphabet. Alphabet. Google was alphabet. I thought it was. It was, yes. Exxon was. S-O. E-S-S-O. Was it standard oil? No. Do you know what's. Interesting is we it's don't still, have Exxon in Canada. We only have Esso. I was going to wow. say it's still Esso in Canada. <laughs> is it still e S S O? Yeah. Yep. S S O. That's, that's yes, what it was. You have that there. Oh my god. That's and Paul? I think Paul, I think thought that as well, Paul. Lynn Lynn thought it was Esso. Yeah. Okay. And I think it's Esso all around the world except in the U.S. Interesting. Okay, the Guardians. Indians. Baseball team, the Cleveland. Oh, this is the baseball team. Is it the Cleveland? No, it's just the Indians. Oh, the, well, are they if, the Red Sox? If he's saying the Guardians, he just needs the Indians as the end. So, and did you hear what happened about that? They went through all of this rigmarole. To, they didn't want to change their name from the Indians. They finally did. They chose the Guardians because they have these big statues. Then it turns out 
there already is a local group called the Guardians. Nobody even Googled it or alphabeted it to see if there was already a group. <laughs> Who were they? Stupid people. Oh, okay, the Altria group. That one I don't know. Isn't what it? Is isn't it that group that was in um, the Appalachias that made like um, Pyrex or something, or it was like a a cult? Never heard of it. I don't know. You know the one that was like it was a cult, and they all had this, uh, and they and they sold the manufacturers. The no, 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 like a, <laughs> like a, um, like a Pyrex company or something. And then they changed and then they went mainstream and they're no longer a cult. But the like Tupperware? No, it was like Pyrex. Oh, Pyrex. A corning? <laughs> like a corningware kind of stuff, but it wasn't corningware. But I thought it was, it was like in Pennsylvania. Doesn't like, ring a bell. Okay, never mind. I don't know the answer, but it feels like LG. that. What, what was LG? Life is good, but I think that with there is a, there is a product that says life is good, That's and they usually abbreviated LG. But I think that may have been something else before they yeah. said it, life is good. It's like Korean. It's Korean, right? No, I, mean, I don't know. It has a electronic. So it's probably life is good. I think is a like T-shirt outdoor yep. sport company. It probably LG is something. electronic ridiculous is lg like a light bulb no it's no, like it's, it's like, like lucky gecko. L lg is tvs um like cd play not uh DVD, dvd blu-ray players um, fridges washers and they were known as what yeah. before yeah. Yeah. They make all kinds Fines, of electronics yes. but so, i don't know what they used to be seven visa and i oh, i know that one go bank america card yes Really? I had no idea. Bank of card, huh? And you used to have to take the card and put it like in a machine and scrape it over. Yes. So you've got the, yes. right? And then you had a book. We had to, we got this book like every week, I think. And you had to look it up and see if the card was stolen. But the thief had like a week before it was in this yes. book. Yeah. Made a check. Wow. Uh, Nissan was Dotson. Yes. Oh, Dotson. really? Datsun B210. Yeah, Datsun, yep. Yep, that's what Panasonic. I and I don't know 10 or 9 or 10. I know 10. Lady. Okay, what is it? Stephanie? Germanata. Ah. Do we have to be able to spell it, though? Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> who can spell Germanata? Germanata. Can you Maybe spell Germanata? G I. A R M O N T A, maybe? Germanata? We could call her Baby Stephanie. I'm sure that's what they called her. G I A R, or would that be Ger? Germanata, G soft G. G I A R, Germ M A N O or A T A? Germanata? Mark, do you want to look and see if you know any of these? Do I what? Do you want to come and look at these real quick and see if you know these last three we don't have? For what? Last names for what? Come here, I'll, I'll show you. Former names, last as in former. Um, former names. Mark. So here's the here they are. It's these are the ones we don't have. Um, Hi, Mark. Hi, guys. The Altria Altria Company. Is that it? What was its name before it was became the Altria Company Group? How about LG? It's electronics company. Oh, my son is telling me that. Corporation. Yes. That for Alphabet, Google is what it's called now. Or I mean, Alphabet is the parent yeah. company of Google now. Right. Yeah. So what was it before? Sorry. All right. Thank you guys. Okay, Mark. I thought that Google's original name was something really stupid, like manicure. It's like a, it, it, it's something that has nothing, haircut. It's something like that. You know, you're right. Google's alphabet is now the current name. Yeah. Okay. What? It's, it's called alphabet now. Okay. So, so what was it before? Um, it's something dumb like that that has nothing to do with Google. Uh, nothing to do with search? 
Let's see. Haircut. 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 No, that's wrong. Handshake. No. I don't know. I don't know. Well, what's the alphabet the name of the company? Let's yeah. do Google backwards. <laughs> How about Satan? Big number. Was <laughs> alphabet the name of the company that the owns Google? Company. Yeah, 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 I they're think the they're the company. Yeah. I think they're the biggest. I think Google still exists as a subcategory of yeah. alphabet. Okay. You don't think I it's think. possible that it actually was called alphabet, changed its name to Google, but the parent company kept the name alphabet or something? That's I'm always just, possible. I'm just being extremely okay. long shot speculative here. Yep. I don't know. Are we, leave, are we leaving alphabet in hopes that she got it wrong too? Well... <laughs> Alphabet, up with well, nothing else. Yeah. we should know Google. It's only like an hour and a half from where I live. I know. Um, I'm going to show up on their doorstep because they were, I can't get them to take down a wrong phone number that's online. <laughs> and I decided today uh, in December, I'm driving up there knocking on their door. On their door. Okay. They won't give me an appointment. They keep referring me to online. I'm like, for two years, I've been trying this. I think we need to try something different. Mail them a letter. I've done that. Oh, in the mail? U.S. mail, but that's why I want to show up on their door. I'm sure that'll go over well. Take a large, take a large box with you that has a ticking noise inside. I'm sure that'll really get attention. <laughs> uh, okay, oh, LG. 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 It's Korean, isn't it? So what's an old Korean company? <laughs> <laughs> Kim is probably called Kim. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> what, Mark? No idea. No, honey. It just cooks in here. How about um, fries? No, they, they just went out of business, right? They fries did. electronics? Fries yeah, electronics. Fries didn't, fries didn't make anything. They just sold things. Yeah, yeah that was just a store. Yeah. What did RCA become? Could it be RCA? Oh, mm -hmm. RCA. Okay, let's put well, it on what we have. If we Is think that for Panasonic or LG? Put it for both. It's not yeah, yeah, Panasonic. put it for both. It's not Panasonic because RCA still existed while Panasonic existed. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Aaron. <laughs> Don't be so knowledgeable. RCA <laughs> had a division down here in Princeton. I always used to drive by it. Okay, so <laughs> what is it? Panasonic. I don't know. I know it's not RCA. Don't ask me what it is. Hey, <laughs> I just did, Aaron. What is it? I can tell you what it isn't. Okay. Okay. You were saying what that about um, JVC? There was oh yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. started JVC. JVC. Audio. Okay. And I don't see JVC around it anymore. No, that's true. Is that <laughs> Panasonic or is that for LG? No, that, that would be for Panasonic. But I'm. That's a wild guess. Okay, better than what we have. Any guess is better than no guess. <laughs> okay. How about Radio Shack? For number five. For number no. five, you said Altria Group was something like uh uh tough uh, what'd you call it? Cor Corningware or something. It, it made it, me feel like it. I was it know. Revereware? Ooh. That's better no? than nothing. Yeah, well, I would take it. You said it's like Corningware or Pyrex. If it, I know there was a cult that was around in the like early 1900s or something that had started this business on the side and the business ended up doing so well, oh. they changed their name and they no longer were a cult. Well, that wouldn't be it because I think Revereware was, goes back to Paul Revere time. So no. Oh, okay. maybe it was a, like a, a like a, like silverware. I just feel like Altria Group sounds like a financial. It does. Management group. How about uh, JD and Associates or no, no, the, no, the old one. But we uh, should know what it is. What's I mean, that one that went ahead and got forced out? Anderson Consulting or something? The big accounting firm? Or some big accounting Price firm? Waterhouse. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, you're talking about Lehman Brothers? No, no, it was around that time that they got pushed out, but 
it was Ch- Andrew uh, Charles Cage. Schwab. Andrew. Charles Schwab. I think Schwab is still around, isn't it? Yeah, Charles yeah. Schwab is still around. So we don't have anything for Google unless we put Alphabet. Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley. Aren't they still around? Morgan Stanley's still around. I don't know. My son thinks that Google has always been called Google, and it's a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm willing to go with that <laughs> no, it had it had a different name and, I, and I, it had a different name and i think karen's right that it was like just some it's something really stupid Bizarre, Bizarre name has nothing the original to names are? like we've got you got like a few seconds come on what is it greg the lg panasonic um, google google those are the ones and oh the eighth altria group we didn't we don't know we don't even know what kind of field altria yeah had. we don't know could it be a real estate you know nissan was you got that yeah i got that yeah could it be real estate i don't know we'll know in a few minutes yep we'll be all we'll like all oh, learn. Yeah, we knew that You okay if I watch the hockey game? Yep. Oh, fine. Go watch the hockey game. He doesn't know any. <laughs> I'll call. Oh, that's him right. He can't call. hear me anyway. He's because she's got her headphones on. Yeah, he can't hear you. But he he felt your vibrations. Oh yeah. Okay. I thought so. <laughs> he could hear. He could feel it. Yeah. Um. Oh, I forgot to move Jamie around. Oh my gosh, you guys, you made me forget. <laughs> He's been in that one room all this time. Where did I put him last? I dropped him somewhere. Where did I leave him? Oh my gosh, he's in room four. How do you move to room four? I don't remember putting him in room four. I'll put him in five. He figured it out. No, he's on a tablet and he can't. He doesn't have that function on his thing. Altria group. Okay, so I think we should probably close the rooms, right? Because we're we got about, it. um if it's an investment firm, what about like the old days, like Rockefeller and Vanderbilt and JP Morgan, something like that. I think JP, JP Morgan's around. JP Morgan's still around. They're part of JP uh, Morgan Chase. Yeah. I don't know. What about Rockefeller or something like that? Okay, I'm going to put Jamie back in our room. What room are we in? Three? Three. Yeah. I just moved around like four so places. Did we decide about LG? Okay. How's everybody think, doing? Good. I think most we'll give Sorry. another another 30 seconds and people will be done. Do you think that, um, Jamie, I thought I put you in room one and then forgot about you, but then the next okay. day I know you were in four. Did you move around somehow? Can you read the yeah. answers, please, Adrian? You managed yeah. to move around? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I How actually, did you do I, that? Can you say the yeah. answers, yeah. please, Adrian? Yes. Hey, guys, it's one, Aunt Jemima. Two, I think we're going with alphabet instead yeah. of Google, yep. even though yes. alphabet's really what they're called. Three, S-O. Four Indians, five, I haven't got anything, six RCA, seven Bank Americard, eight Datsun, nine JVC, and ten Stephanie Germanata. I think that's the best we're gonna get. So number five, yeah, what about could I say Rockefeller or something like that? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Okay, Rockefeller. But Susan thought it was like um dishware so, or something. But Susan is here to to just mess with you guys. She's here to disrupt. <laughs> That's my whole job. I'm going to go to room four. Isn't that the one that's got the high score? That's the one I'm going to really mess. No, room five. I'm going to screw with them. You watch. I'm going back. I mean, they've got 19 points. That's ridiculous. All right. Good job, y'all. Yes. Any more than that. And I'll repeat that when I give the question. Okay. 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 Is everybody We're back? back? We're all back. We're all back. Okay, um, I'll just give you the answers and I'll post it afterwards. Okay. Okay, so the Pearl Milling Company is, um, the previous name was Aunt Jemima. We just changed it just a Thank few you, months Vincent. ago. Thank you, Vince. Yeah, we got that one. We got that, so I'm gonna know about it. How is that possible? Pearl? Yeah, because they thought it was politically incorrect. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> Pearl Milling Company was the name before they named it Aunt Jemima, so they just reverted back to their earlier name. They put it back. Okay. Yeah, that was in 2021. So number two on Google, Google was originally known as Backrub. Backrub? No way. What? What? Yeah, look you were right, Karen. It was some something really obscure. I still didn't yeah, hear it. What that's is a it? Dumb name. Backrub. <laughs> in 1997, they developed the search engine called Backrub, and then they changed the name to Google. Look it up. Isn't that amazing? Backrub. Uh, number three, Exxon was known as um, Esso or Standard Oil. S -O oh, I had them both. I couldn't decide which one. <laughs> yeah, same here. <laughs> So both are okay. Standard Oil, which is S-O. That's how I got the name S-O. Oh, oh. oh. Okay. Number four, The Guardians. That's also one of these stupid new names. That's for the Cleveland Indians. Yeah, that was recent too. Yep, last year. Okay. A couple months ago. Uh, number five, The Altria Group. That came out of all the tobacco lawsuits in 2003. That was the Philip Morris Company. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We weren't even on the right track at all. Yeah, they try to disguise the fact they're doing tobacco. Number six, LG. Everybody thinks that LG stands for uh, life is good, but it's, it's not true. That's just a slogan. Um, years ago, I remember in Walmart, they used to sell these cheapy Korean TVs called Gold Star. Yep. All oh, right. And um, LG, um, two companies merged in Korea, a chemical company called Lucky, and then this electronics Gold Star company. LG stands for Lucky Gold Star. Ah. Oh, wow. Life's good. So, so either Gold Star or Lucky Gold Star is acceptable. I had a Gold Number Star seven. microwave for 25 years. You should have got we, the answer. Can we just say a, a Korean group? It's, that long. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Korea? Yeah. From Korea. Would you Number seven, that? Visa. Visa was always called Bank AmeriCard. Yes. Very good. Oh, I thought it was MasterCard. Uh, no, That's the charge. Mastercard was the interbank card originally. Yeah. Nissan, number eight Nissan was Datsun. Oh, yes. Datsun. Number nine, Panasonic. I don't know if they still sell Panasonic. I heard they don't sell Panasonic TVs in America anymore. They stopped. Really? Right. Yeah. Um, Panasonic was always called Matsushita, Matsushita Electric Company. This meeting is being recorded. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Ooh, We've been amazing. recording all this time, so that's um, it. It's like Cal 9000 with its memory. Wow. Been pulled out. How do you spell that, Jamie? <laughs> Matsushita. M-A-T-S-U-S-H-I-T-A. Matsushita. S-H-I-T in there. I see that. Yeah. <laughs> but if you look at... Um, you open up your um, your um, fuse boxes. We had this in Boston. Um, a lot of the components were made by Panasonic, but it's called Matsushita. So breakers, um, you know, timers, and surge protectors, it's all Matsushita. But in 2008, Panasonic was a subsidiary of Matsushita. And in 2008, they changed globally the whole name from Matsushita to Panasonic. I want to say that voice that's saying this is being recorded is coming from Janine's window. Get out, house, window? Janine, get out of the house, Get out of the house. No, but when that voice, when that sound came through, um, Janine was unmuted uh, and her box lit up. Huh. And, and, Go back to the no, closet, no, Janine. No. Yeah. I'll keep it on mute. I have no, no idea what's no, going no, on. No, no, maybe you have like a security or something on your device. Yeah. They speak very slow. <laughs> yeah. And, I will um, make number, talk about oh, I, number 10. Number 10, I, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is Stephanie Germanata. Yay. Yeah, you never get the last name, Germanata. I get the first Germanata. name, Stephanie G. Germanata. Couldn't come up with Germanata. Italiano. Well, then you lose the point. I, no I point, thought it was something Italian. No point for you. No but point see, for Lady me. Ga the name Gaga, Lady Gaga got the name from um, Radio Gaga from Queen. From the Queen song, yeah. From the Queen song. Okay, dokie. Okay. Where are we at? We're starting with absentee-minded. We got six. Woo you're in third place. <laughs> Twitter quitters. Oh, 
Hold on, I'm still counting. Four. Okay. Four. And wow. to next. Right? Six. That and Richard team might name. be coming. Oh, good. All right, we have no team name. We got seven, right? Yeah. That's what I see. All right. All right, stop In the politics. count. Stop it right now. <laughs> <laughs> we had eight. Oh, only eight. Oh, mm -hmm. oh well, the next wow. round we should get seven and the next round we should get six. Seven more rounds and they're gonna get Counting zero. Down. I want to play that game. <laughs> Good job, Jamie. Carolyn okay. is taking off. Yeah. Bye, Carolyn. Right. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye. I'm going to listen to the next set of questions, and then if I don't know anything, I may leave too. Oh, it's half the fun. Come on. <laughs> Just hang out. Make co-host Kevin Mocker. All right. This is going to be recaps. This is going to be Kevin's greatest hits or Kevin's greatest okay. shit, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I will get groans on a lot of these. <laughs> and Susan should know at least three of these. <laughs> oh well there you go so, so somebody's got me on their team lucky you do we, do we oh, have to oh is that true we, we will hold her to that do we have to waive the billy joel rule um no because that's question number one <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm muting you oh. have to waive that rule because the first question is billy joel trivia oh boy this is the one this, i know no, huh? question number one Billy Joel had three number one hits. Name any one of them. Question number two. You put him in the chat? Yep. From the category that was called number two. Louis Feinberg played second fiddle. What is his better known stage name? Did you paste number one? Oh, yeah, there it yeah, is. Yeah, they're there. Yeah, two, two at a time. From a mystery category where all the answers were the names of actors on a popular TV show, his first and last hit was leaving on a jet plane. From the category abbreviations, acronyms, and extensions. What does TMZ stand for? From the state of Massachusetts category, a question which I screwed up when I tried to ask it, I posted the answer. So now I'm going <laughs> to post it correctly. Got the answer. Okay. Without the answer, I hope. I'm going to, before I hit enter. Okay. The, Mass the lowest zip code in the United States is located in what Massachusetts city? So name the city or guess the zip code number. So basically pick a number between 0000 and 99999. So guess the lowest zip code in the United States. Or name the city it's in. Or town, I'm not sure if it's a town. City or town. I don't remember that one. That's because I screwed up the answer and we skipped right over it. Oh, oh, okay. This is one that stumped Susan. And I'm hoping she <laughs> gets it right this time. Only one? You got it wrong and you knew it, but you got it wrong. How do you so remember you, that? I'm hoping you got this one right. Okay. The category was Hashi Day's cast members. Oh, okay. But the answer, the question is, what is Al short for in Weird Al Yankovic? Oh, related to I remember this question. I remember well, getting it wrong. Got it wrong. I will still get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Somebody on the team will know it. From the question, from the state of Rhode Island. I've asked this and we talked about it. What is the official state drink. No oh, multiple choice oh, this time. Oh, Don't say it. Before oh, I gave 
four multiple choices. Now I'm not given any multiple choices. From the theme, imagine. And I'm not gonna say anything else about the theme, just it was about imagine. The True Fruit Company bottled carbonated fruit drinks in the mid 1920s, but this popular be beverage has no fruit in it. It was developed by Natalie blah, blah, blah in New Jersey in 1928. It's currently manufactured by Keurig Dr. Pepper. And as of 2019, the drink is primarily made from water, high fructose corn syrup and whey. Name the drink. The theme was Imagine. I'm not gonna say anything else. <laughs> Going back to <laughs> the happy days theme, another question. Aaron, you're not muted for some reason, screen. by the way. I, I have, won't say an answer. I have to share my screen. The theme was happy days. In the last question, you had to identify which one, A, B, C, or D, aligns with the theme. So we must. I know the answer. Pick A, B, C, or D. Oh, it has to do with. Yeah, yeah. Don't say Happy anything. Days. I'm not no, saying anything. You won't. Why aren't they muted? Because oh. we know how to unmute ourselves. Because we wanted to groan. He promised we would groan. Oh, that's true. That's right. I didn't say you had to move anybody. Will you include a link to that picture? Just take a picture no. with your phone. Take a picture with your phone because I'm about to pick another picture. We already know. Because it's time. It's time to play Name That Cat. That's question 10. Let me take a picture. Okay. Name can you that. put can you put the uh, the previous picture back up? You don't remember it? Good. He gets it wrong. Um somebody yes, in can. this team will have it. I got it, Rob. I remember. That's it there the previous, that's number nine. Okay. Okay. Okay, go to your rooms. You send us. Oh. You, you go to your room. I will. You, you. Shoo. Hello, team. Hello, my teammates. I almost asked, what's the state flower of Massachusetts? But that was too easy for Susan. Oh, what? <laughs> Hello. Oh, state flower. There you go. I should have asked it, damn it. <laughs> I have to apologize to Deborah because apparently uh, they broke up Standard Oil and both Amico and Exxon both had previous names of Standard Oil. So <laughs> my, my, apologize, my yeah, apologies okay. on that. And it was Bank of America, which is what I said. Yeah, yeah, I was wrong about that one. I thought it was charged Dang for it. sure. Billy Joel had three number one hits. Name one of them. Piano Man? Piano Man. Mm. Um, oh, the wind beneath your sails, or so. Oh, the light at your your feet. I don't know. It was Piano Man because he had a lot of songs that like went to, you know, like were in the top ten but didn't hit number one. What's the one about um, that was big with um, Princess Diana? The wind one or the light? What? The light. That's that's not Billy. That's Joel. not Billy Joel. Oh, who's that? That was Elton John. That's Elton John. Oh, I get them confused. Oh, that come on. So much alike. <laughs> oh, they're from, they're from, totally, they're from totally different countries, Susan. Oh, but they're still <laughs> speaking English, don't they? Yeah, well, someone has <laughs> a pretty, pretty uh, apparent accent. So. Whatever. I don't like either song. That's fine. 
Uh, I don't know. What do we think for number one, Deborah? I'm well, I would I would say Piano Man, but I don't know. Um, I would yeah. think Piano Man. I'm not a. All right, team. I'm putting I'm that. But I'm like worried that that's one of the ones that went to like two, but didn't go to one. But maybe we'll put it. They should have played it a lot. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it was uh, popular here. Louis Feinberg played. Is it Harpo? Hmm. One of the Marx Brothers. Uh, Let me see what your guys' score is, so I I know how maybe. much. Maybe oh, it's easy. We've gotten a four every round. Oh, okay. I should be nice. So Was is it, that is that a, is that a real answer or is I I remember him. I, think... I remember one of the categories that Kevin did was with the Marx Brothers, and it feels like that might have been. So it's we're thinking it's which one of them. Yeah, it was one who wasn't as part, wasn't the, it was like the, not the sidekick, but the not as famous. Okay. So the number one was Groucho Marx. And then the other one was. Oh, look, it's Richard Saunders. Do we know the name of, of the other one? Let's well, there was Harpo, and then there, Harpo? Was, there was another one, too. And I don't know. Harpo Marx. I don't care. Um... Uh, mystery were well, all the answers were names of actors on popular TV show. Oh, this Why is, is that John Denver. First... Is that what it is? Didn't he do Leaving on a Jet Plane? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, so did the, the um, Peter, Paul, and Mary. Do we get Richard? Woohoo! Well, we have Richard Saunders. I have Hello, made the choice. The, is this hey, the Richard? Room? No, yeah, yeah. No, you, the you wish. This Kevin, is the go abys to the Welcome other to room. the abysmal room, Richard. I like watching this is you guys. Kevin's suffer. greatest hits. Kevin, you need to go see other rooms. Yeah, you can't stay here the whole time. I will. Um, <laughs> These are questions he's asked in the past because he had to come up with a category because Caspian's not. Caspian's good. sick. So, what does TMZ stand for? Thirty mile zone. What is it? Thirty mile zone. Ooh. All right. Thank you. Oh, good. All right. We will have to revisit previous questions now that we have Richard back. <laughs> Can we go we back to previous cat categories? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. We play that. <laughs> so we okay, need to so know. This is Massachusetts. So it'd be start with a zero. I don't think they start. Do they start with? Yeah, they have zeros. Well, I know they. they and have we're nine. Name. Yeah. So we need to know. California what the number the lowest zip code is or what city in massachusetts has the lowest zip code i would no clue what that would be but i have I no clue what city zero. in massachusetts it that would be that sounds very obscure well it's repeating well actually he didn't ask this question last time he said he he got it wrong he, he had it he had to skip it so we can either guess a number and it has to be within 500 or we have to pick a massachusetts city would they have done it? I came like, up with a zero the as a leading number. You guys can do the rest. Yeah. What's the well, what's the furthest what's the furthest east point in Massachusetts? That's kind of what I'm wondering is whatever the first city in Massachusetts we should probably pick. It could be anything, you guys. It's just a bunch of random numbers. It's not gonna make any difference. No, I mean the name of the town. Right. Because if they were assigning zip codes to towns, the oldest town in Massachusetts might have the, the lowest zip code. Yeah. And I remember one time I went through all the zip codes, well, not all of them, but I went through the zip codes to try to figure out like what the system was. And there are some that aren't used. And I, I don't remember what they are, but I'm pretty sure there's no zero, 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 zero. Um, I don't think that's right. used. No. Okay, do you guys remember what Al's short... For in Weird Al Yankovic? That's what you're supposed to remember. Is it Albert? Arnold? No, it's not Arnold. No, it's Albert or Alfred, and I'm trying to remember. I think I got it right last time, too. And I know I got it wrong, so I'm not a good guess. I think it <laughs> That's ironic because Maynard has a big Weird Al special this weekend. Oh, I love Weird Al Yankovic. Yeah, they're. they're What's uh, his middle name? Susan, you know, you know, like the, the movie that's coming out, right? On. Friday that's going to have oh, Daniel Radcliffe. Oh, is it going Radcliffe. to be this Friday? Yeah, it's the fourth. Oh, it's I didn't know that. Date. And it's on the Roku did? channel, so I'm assuming you can watch it for free if you have a Roku device. I don't know. I'll figure it out. 
I is it think Alfred? It's Alfred, not Albert. If I was to guess. Guys, so if everyone's okay with that, I will put that down. Okay. And the you guys official... remember my birthday present from is Adrian? Ah. No, oh yeah, yeah. The weird Al, weird Al happy birthday card. The weird Al. Happy okay. Birthday. Um, yeah. Right. Wasn't that like coffee milk? Yeah, I, I it was something so. with milk in it, and it was something weird. And I I'm think like, he said he's going to send it to us. Does, doesn't Shikon. everybody put yeah. milk in there? I thought it was something more odd. I think than it's coffee milk, milk that has a little dab of coffee. But uh, I will yeah, put I it just, because just I don't call, know for sure. I think it's just called that. And they were, he was going to send us some in in Las Vegas. And yeah. I, per, I I don't know what it has to do with the theme of Imagine, but. I'm pretty sure, based on the description, it's Snapple because Snapple. That's I think that's right. Yeah, because they're owned by Keurig, Dr Pepper, and they had they. The the company was called True Fruit because they started out doing something else and then started making these beverages. Mm -hmm. And then this this I know for sure because I was so pissed at myself for not. We got realizing it. it was a visual pun of the letter C was the picture of a pot. flower pot. So pot C because potsy oh, is a character from and that was my favorite. Yeah, uh, I, I showed, my favorite he showed the picture of Richard well before you joined. Right. I understand. Yeah. If okay. you remember that question, I totally remember because I totally was mad at myself. Oh, and, and that is was, that who it is? Yeah, the cat well. of Figaro because it's uh it's the reference to the the song. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. The Queen song. The Queen Galileo, song. Galileo, Galileo, Galileo. Galileo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so which what's, one's we missing? What's the whole theme for this? It's it's just random. Since Caspian was sick, uh, Kevin picked questions from various categories throughout the time he's done rounds. All right. So so no, there's no number, overall theme to the whole thing. Question number two in this list. Yeah. Well, H Harpo Mark's name was Adolf. Okay. So it's not Lewis Feinberg. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. Harpo. Okay. It's not Harpo Marx, no. Do we know? Is it one of the how many Marx brothers were there? Were there, there two were or three? About five. Oh, okay. Dang. So but none of them were called Lewis Feinberg. Okay. We could be wrong. That's just something that we guessed. But Julius. the category was like the second person that you hardly ever it was somebody you didn't know. Like it was like a not a sidekick, but a Right. Well, Not kind of, because they played second fiddle in quotes, so kind of, I guess did, you would um, say a psychic. Did, um, uh, his name's escaped me. G give me a second. Give me a second. Sure. You did this all the time. Oh, Jack Benny. Jack Benny. Did he have a second fiddle? No. He, he didn't have a second of the dinner? Okay. Um, well, that could be. He did play. He he played the violin. And yeah, it's just a fiddle. Just cut, just cut my mind. But I, I think Jack Benny was more of a solo act. I don't think he had somebody who was a sidekick. George Gracie. So George Burns. Nah, he wasn't second fiddle. To Jack Benny. Okay, so Lewis. I don't think it really had anything to do with a, with a, a fiddle. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Since it's in quotes, does did they actually play the fiddle, or is it just another way of saying they were saying the, second, yeah, the, so. the, the, the yeah? I think it's and just then, uh, Lewis. No, I don't know. Lewis Feinberg. Louis. Louis. No, nothing's nothing's jumping out. Wait, why do I? I'm vaguely remembering this question. I could be completely wrong, but. You're not talking it's like flat and scrugs. It uh, it's not like uh, the the crap. Who's the? It's not like the band leader from like uh, David Letterman or something, right? Who's it? What's his name again? Paul Schaefer. I think that's his real name. That's his real name. That's what I thought. Yeah. I was trying to remember if it was something like that. Like it was a. This like is a, uh this is a tough question because there are so many double acts. Right. But we but we've so, had it before. That's the. Problem. I know we've had it before. We should it know the damn thing. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> um, let's let's. 
go back over number one uh, just to confirm. Uh, we we were putting Piano Man for Billy Joel, one of yeah. Billy Joel's number one hits, because he had a lot of like you know things in top ten, but only a few of his songs, only three, made it all the way to number one. And we thought Piano Man was a was a good guess because of yeah. you know its popularity, but I don't know if that was indeed made it all the way to number one or what your thoughts are on that. Uh, we didn't start the fire. I think made us number one. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that was pretty popular. That was a crazy one. The other one would have been Uptown lyrics. Girl. Uptown Girl. Do we like that better than Piano but, Man? Again, again, I don't want to change the answer and change it away from uh, the correct answer. I just was trying to think of what we think is more likely to have gone all the way to number one. I think that those three songs we've mentioned are these three of his biggest hits. So I don't know if Piano Man made it to number one. It might have. It seems like it would have. It's so popular. Yeah. But I seem to remember We Didn't Start the Fire was very, very popular. Huge Try that, fun. since we, that's probably more popular. Do we feel more comfortable with that, or do we want to leave it um, piano, man? I'm, I'm good for whatever the group thinks. Yeah, no, put, put We Didn't Start the Fire is fine. So that's like number two, on. and it was Piano Man, I'm going to cry. What? Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I know, so I know. the Louis Feinberg, it might be somebody who's got the word Lou in there somewhere. Uh, yes and no, maybe. Dang it. I feel like once we hear the name, we'll be like, oh, yeah, it's that person. <laughs> yeah, that'll Probably. definitely happen. And we still so need to come like, up with, It wasn't with somebody like on Seinfeld, was it? No. What, no. uh, what, what, what's questions nine and ten? Let me have a quick look at those again. That was the Happy Days cast and the figure right, okay, we're pretty sorry. covered, yeah. All right. Yep. And is, is Weird Al's middle name Alfred? What? Richard? No, it's a, it's his first name. I mean, no, yeah, it's his first name. Well, I mean, the middle. It probably, it probably is Alfred. Okay. I don't, I don't know his full name. And leaving on a jet plane wasn't that John Denver? I think so. And everybody said it was in bad taste because he died in a plane crash. Uh, yeah, from the Monterey. Oh, that's his last. That's his last hit. <laughs> that's terrible. So that's, we a, still... that's a terrible joke. It is. Yeah. We still need to come up with the Massachusetts city or guess the lowest zip code in, in zero and then four numbers. Zero one zero zero zero. <laughs> zero one zero zero one. You're going all binary on us, Susan? There you <laughs> go. I think it looks it feels appropriate. So oh, it's not Lewis? 901. Two one zero nine zero one nine zero two one zero nine nine is that's uh, California. That's, that's the West Coast. Yeah. Oh. Hey Susan, I've booked my ticket. Yay! Woohoo! What's where? Where are you headed to first? Oregon. Oh, right. it's Bend. How long are you to be there? Uh, well, at the moment, hang on a minute. I just got to plug myself in. You're here. running out of time, aren't you? Yes. Sorta, of. but we only we don't know the. We don't we don't know who Louis Feinberg is. Ah, uh, Louis. What? No hint this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It's it. It's a hint. It's in parentheses. It's in uh, quotations. He played second fiddle. But who we thought you guys? Uh, the the one that Richard was. Okay. Playing. Put 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 Jack Benny. Yeah, put Jack Benny because put Jack Benny because he played the fiddle. Yeah, he sure did. Uh, and we got nothing else. So. <laughs> what day do you arrive? Uh, I arrive in at the moment. I, I'm scheduled to arrive no, to Oregon on the sixth of February. Up there for a week or so, then visiting San Francisco for a week or so, and then we'll see. Oh, so kind of yeah. like like it was before. Kind of like it was before, yeah. This meeting is being recorded. <laughs> that is Janine. That is so Janine. I that that was Janine. Yeah. Is Janine doing the voice? We, we heard your rogue android again. Oh, I can put the microphone to you. Hey, everybody. Just hiding replicants in her hey, closet. Hey, it's Richard. 
Hey, hey Richard. Richard Saunders from the Skeptic Richard. Zone. Adrian Zone Giggler? What the hell? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I okay, you guys ready for some episode. answers? Yes, sir. Yay. Everybody who said Piano Man, you are still wrong. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. Thank God we changed it. Thank you, number 25. you and Billy Joel didn't have another hit for like five years, and he was almost dropped by the record company and almost became a one hit wonder. Then he came out with Just the Way You Are and had two Grammys. But the number one song didn't come until 1980, still rock and roll to me. Oh, okay. Ooh, that makes sense. One was Tell Her About It, and his last number one was We Didn't Start the Fire. Yes. Oh, oh my God. Got it. Thank you. Wow. Number we two, thank you, Richard. Piano, <laughs> the character yeah, no, who played second it. fiddle was Larry Fine from the Three Stooges. Oh, oh, I told you guys it was somebody from one of those groups. Of course, the category, the, te the TV show was Gilligan's Island. I was doing, I don't want to give that away. Uh, the, 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 the last name shared by Bob Denver was John Denver, who wrote the song and died in a plane. That and Monterey Bay, thank you. Right here next to me. The, uh, TMZ stands for. I, I don't know if that's home. a brag. Did, did you have your laser <laughs> pointer out, pointing at the sky, Susan? Good point, Jeff. <laughs> so, so, Kevin, what's the M in in TMZ? Thirty mile zone, TMZ. Thirty hey. miles. Hey, Paul. Saunders you, joined Richard. our group just in time. Yes, to he did. He the town in Massachusetts with, with the lowest is Agawam, Mass, and uh, it's. If you put an answer between zero zero five zero one and yes. zero one five zero one, you got it right. <laughs> good, good guess, my Susan. That is, worked out for us. Hey, Susan did it. Wow, Susan helped. Oh my so god! For everybody who thought there isn't a zero, there's lots of zeros in Massachusetts. What was yes. the what was the exact answer for the zip code? Oh, I'll find it. Do Two I get extra points if I get it right? One thousand. It's exactly in between the middle. One thousand and one. Um, yeah. I got it wrong. I got it technically wrong, but we got the point. Did we get it? Yeah, we're we're in that. We're at the. Yeah, oh, we're in that range. Yes, I didn't yeah. post the actual answer. Let me find it. Yeah. If 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 uh, Susan guessed exactly right, then we need a bonus point, right, Susan? Yeah, I think that's. I think we win the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. What was it? I said zero one zero no oh, zero. Zero, zero one zero zero, zero, zero one. Zero. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly right. She's pulling uh, yes, binary. Yeah. <clears throat> it should be uh, and I don't have the one. answer in my answer. It's between zero. those numbers, though. That's the it range. Should be zero, <laughs> that's exactly zero, between them. That's zero, one, zero, 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 one. Yeah. It's, it's zero, one, we can five, look zero, it up. Yeah. I don't have the exact answer in front of me. Okay. Add them up uh, and divide by two. So no, no double zero entries on that for the zip code. I wonder why they right. So we got it? We got it. We did. Yeah, we, we barely got it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, wondering, wondering. I'm wondering why they didn't use any zip codes below uh, 1,000. Yeah, the lowest zip code is 1,001 in Massachusetts. Hey, Jamie. Mm -hmm. They yeah, want to be able to have at it if uh, they need to. From the category happy days, when I first did this one, the first three answers all started with the letter A. There was Albert, Alfred, and and, and Arthur for Arthur Funzo, but the answer is Alfred. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. I, I was I was on mute and I was trying to answer the other question because as I as I thought I remembered, the zip code is broken up into sections and the first two digits mean something. So you needed a one, o two, o three, or four. You couldn't have zero zero. Okay. I think that's why. Okay. The official state drink of Rhode Island is coffee milk. Yes, Yay. we know that. <laughs> My team knew that one. I was going to bring a bottle of it to Vegas if I went. I know. That's why we kind of remembered it. <laughs> and Maine's is shrimp milk. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, it isn't. Where did, where did we lose? Did we lose? Uh, no, crab milk. Definitely. We lost Allison and Lobster Jason. The, number eight was the song Imagine. And in one of the oh, yeah. lyrics, it says, You who? Well, that's the answer. You who? Oh, oh, I remember now. Perhaps, uh, dang it. We didn't know it then either. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a good guess. Cast so. member, I could not come up with anything for this guy. So I just put part A, part B, part C, and part D. 
So the answer, of course, is part C. Yay, best redemption. In the I didn't world. get it. That was the night. best so answer of all time. Hey, Everybody laughed at that one yeah. because it was so silly. Mm -hmm. I loved it. My favorite. And then the I, last one yeah. was a picture of the cats surrounded by Galileo. So it's yeah. Galileo, Galileo, Galileo. Oh, Figaro. 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 Yep. That's the cat from Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Wait, the, cat, the answer is Galileo? No, no the, the answer is Figaro. 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 No. Because it was about... It was about Bohemian Rhapsody. It was, yeah, it was about Bohemian Rhapsody. I to make sure that was the answer because I heard Figaro. 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 Figaro's the answer. Figaro's the answer. Figaro's the answer. Figaro's the answer. Okay. Yeah, but okay. the song that goes Galileo, Galileo, Galileo. Yeah, Figaro. Bohemian so Rhapsody. The picture has Galileo surrounding Figaro. Yeah. yeah. Thund Thund Thunderbolts and lightning, very frightening. Very yeah, that was in there too. That was another. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming up for the round so quickly, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, I just had that well. It was, actually, it was actually pretty awesome. You so could do this. That, you could do this you, for the rest of you your life. Your just, team, I could do this Kevin. every week, and you guys wouldn't so, know. Does that Friday. mean my team is winning now? <laughs> oh yeah, we're in the lead now. <laughs> oh good. So many points again, this round. until it's right. <laughs> That's why we put you on the team, Richard, because it was and already. I was going to ask what That's the state rock. flower of Massachusetts is. The state flower, we all know. You know. Anybody else know? No. Oh, I should have asked it. <laughs> the Mayflower. I mean, the Mayflower, yeah. Oh. Gotta be. Uh, I'm right, on, by the way. I mean, if it's not the Mayflower, it's too obscure to get. <laughs> All right. So the team in the in the not lead is the Twitter quitters. Did we manage to break the spell of 444 with me on the team and Richard thanks Saunders? To, thanks to Richard and, and Kevin's awesome questions. We got an eight. Yes. Hey, I Ooh. helped. <laughs> yes, you did. Thank you. At least two or three for Susan. Okay, absentee minded. Yes. Susan was a big help too. Yeah, thank um, you. We got seven. I have that recorded. <laughs> Wait, stop the tape. <laughs> I'm just going to play it over and over. Susan was a big help. <laughs> thank you, Susan. Susan. A remix. <laughs> Susan was a big help. Or if it's in Janine's room, it's Susan. Am I on mute or something? <laughs> No, no, I can hear no. this seven. I keep hearing the seven. 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 Seven or eight. You got seven. Okay. Poor, poor Jeff. You keep getting the spell is broken. Tonight. Okay. Canucks. Nine. No. Nine. This is back. We have a no team name. We can't afford the $20. Nine. Nine. Nurse is back. No, it's not so depressed. Hmm. All right. In politics, absurdity is not a handicap. Nine. Oh, they broke the streak. Oh, mm. oh don't worry. Seven, I'm on that it. team next. I will help them out. I will help them. <laughs> <laughs> We're hey. fighting for the basement. Good job, hey, Kevin. Hey, Thanks Susan. for coming up at the last minute. I'll come hey, mow your lawn, Susan. Yeah. No, no, Susan, Susan, I, I'll send you a whole case of milk duds if you help the team out. Oh, yeah. Take okay. The team. <laughs> Take the team. <laughs> Even if she tried, they could just not outvote her. So you should try, Susan. <laughs> I might try to help them. The for trick real. would be to sound convincing and not to not help them. Okay, so Robin, Miss Robin, she will not be responsible for taking the team. Well, she might be. I don't know. What's your bonus? Okay, I'm gonna do one I've done before, but a different letter. There are fourteen cities in the United States that start with the letter H that have a population over 100,000. Your job is to name 10 of those cities. Letter H. United States. Okay. Of America. United States of America. Okay. <laughs> All right. Send us to our rooms. Okay. Let's see if I can do that. Breakout rooms. Open all rooms. Hi, team. Hey. Hello. So, Houston. Yep. That's a good one. Um, did you say Hartford? Yes. That's the only one I thought of. <laughs> what about um, Harrisburg? Oh, maybe that one. That's good. Uh, 
Hi, hey Park, Hyde Park. You think? Everywhere I know Hyde Park, it's a neighborhood and not a city. But yeah. Uh, oh. Um. Okay. Uh, I got two. Show off. Henderson. Henderson. Oh yeah. And Honolulu. Oh, mm-hmm. Honolulu. Good right. ones. Yeah. Henderson, Nevada. Yeah. Yep. How big does it have to be? Henderson, Nevada is not very big. I think oh, we're over hundred thousand. It's pretty big. It has to be a hundred thousand. Yeah, it's only over a hundred thousand. I think it's for big like enough. A, yeah, maybe over a hundred thousand. Well, let's get to ten and fight about it. Yeah, exactly. Um, right, let me number these. Uh, what else? Hialeah is a small town, right? I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, it's a small town, but it may be big enough. Until we've got 10, put it on. Sure. What was that? Someone else spells it. Hialeah. Hialeah. Where's that? I don't even know. There's some court case. It's next case. to Miami, okay. isn't it? And, yeah, and they've got dog racing there, right? I just um, there's some famous court case. City oh, of Homestead, Homestead, Florida. Yeah, they have a military base. Yeah, um, that'll do it. Um, Huntsville, Alabama. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah that's that's good. Good. Yeah. Huntington Beach. There it is. And I'm probably tapped now. Uh, that's ten. All right, knock one out with another suggestion. Yeah, if if, if anything up there you don't like, think of something better. I'll bet you we've got at least nine. Yeah. Homestead is homestead, like H O M E. Eight or nine. On eight. At least. Uh, what about Hollywood, Florida? Oh, how about Hollywood? Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood California. California. I don't know about Hollywood, California. Well, what would you knock out? Hyde Park. Yeah. Hyde oh, Park. yeah. That's, yeah. I'd, I'd knock out Hyde Park. So which Hollywood is that? California. It's amazing to to me that there's only 14 big cities start with an H. Yeah. It was until I started trying to think of them. Yeah. (laughs) I can name some really small ones. (laughs) Hicksville. Well, I know a Hicksville, but it's not 100,000 people. (laughs) They wouldn't allow it. You can't call it that and be that big. Yeah, you have to come up with a better name if you're going to have. 100,000 people here. Sorry, we have over 100,000 people. We have to change the name now. Okay, so that. Hot Springs? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I Don't tell anybody I'm helping. What maybe do you over Hialeah. Take out Hialeah for hot springs. Oh, uh, Arizona. I'm trying to think. I, I would think it. hot spring would take. Uh, I'm a little worried about Henderson. I don't. I don't think Hollywood, California. Is- what do you think, Brandy? Do you think Henderson has a hundred thousand people? I thought we were at two hundred thousand. Is that where you live? Yeah, you live I live in about Henderson, two million people in but- Las Vegas, but Henderson is only a residential area, basically. Yeah. But I mean, we've grown exponentially. Yeah, it was growing really fast. It's growing fast, but it's, it's, got, it's over a hundred thousand. Strictly resolution. You think it's over a hundred thousand? I okay. I'm pretty sure we're over two hundred thousand. I mean, it's at least twice that. Okay. So what do you want to cut out to put? What did we put? We're putting in. Hot springs. Hot springs. I think hot springs is big. I, Where is I it? Don't think, I don't think Hollywood, California is on this list. 
I get, yeah, I'm leaning in that direction. I, I think that's a common misconception. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not a big land. Yeah. Pretty small. Okay. It's saying this doesn't mean it's big. Right. Do we decide where Hot Springs is? <laughs> I wanted to say Arkansas, but I don't know, leave it vague. Do we, need to name Arizona. Do we need to name the states? I have no, no, but I don't even know where it is, but um I don't think she said we needed the state. No, no. I just will feel silly knowing that it's hot springs, but not knowing what state it is. Either Arizona or Arkansas. No, Arkansas, I think, is the one, the big one. I don't know of one in Arizona. Well, maybe it is Arkansas. This is harder than we think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's a good bonus category. Yeah. Um, you think Honolulu would have 100,000 people? It is a big city, but it's not got it. Well. Yeah, it probably it, does. It's not, It's got big buildings, but those are for tourists. They're not residents. But all, those, I, yeah. all those big I, buildings yeah. have residents who work in those buildings. I think it's bigger than, than Henderson is. It's a, this is a good category, Robin. It really is perplexing. How are is everybody else doing? They're okay? We, we don't need to everyone is right about where you are, sort of plodding along, making their way we, to 10. I'm really surprised we, that we, have, we don't need to state, right? In total, let's start with an H. It seems odd. There are 14, you need 10. I know, but it does seem odd. There's only 14. 14 like that a have lot. over 100,000 population. Yeah, but doesn't it seem like it'd be a lot more than that? Yeah. But we're not but naming you them. You got 26 letters to pick from. <laughs> oh, this is true. So that's 26 weeks of bonus categories. There you go. <laughs> Good luck with the X. And and if, they, if, they, if they have big names, if there's a lot of them, you just use mono rules. I'm going to go back to room one now, and if they're Pretty ready. I'm going to close the rooms. Okay. Either you Fair mono enough. rules, or you just keep increasing the population size until you've reduced the list down to about 14. Oh yeah, That's true. yeah. Especially if you hate mono rules. I love mono rules. We had we had um went a dinner with mono. He was um him to Peggy's party. Awesome. Is he coming oh, back? How's he doing? Mm -hmm. We haven't seen him in a while. We don't know. He was telling them why he doesn't come back, and I don't. He didn't actually tell me. So there was many reasons why. <laughs> We don't know why. At least I don't know why. Hmm. Maybe he told somebody else. Ask Ask Peggy or Jane. The other Jane. Yeah, the other Jane. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we're probably as good as we can get because we named the few. Yeah. Yeah. There are only four teams. I, I mean. I don't think the Hawaiian one there, Hiaea, is it. I've I never really heard it's Florida. It's next to Miami. Oh, I, well, then it must like be big. I think it's yeah. a suburb of Miami, but I could be wrong about that. But that's what I think. I've been there before, but I think it, it was a long time ago. I think it's a suburb of Miami. I mean, we only really need three points to lock in first place. Oh, well, we, mm -hmm. yeah, whatever. I think we're How's it feel to be on the team that everybody boos? <laughs> it doesn't feel bad does it <laughs> um hate ashbury neighborhood it's not yeah neighborhood. hawthorne something maybe oh hawthorne is a city in la you would know yeah about yeah that. yeah that's why i'm thinking of it i don't think it makes this list but i could see it in the top 14. okay so at least we named it so in case it's one of the choices we can say oh yeah well we knew that we just yeah, we're close we can re regret our mistakes here it's funny how it doesn't give me the countdown it isn't started has it because i don't usually not for me it. no, no it hasn't. it'll all of a sudden i'm kicked out of the room it's like it's behind one of my other screens so everybody have a nice Halloween. Hey, Halloween. 
Halloween, Halloween, Halloween Town is just in a movie. Halloween. Hey, Gil, <laughs> when is your friend going to play? Richard? Uh, he has COVID right now. He, he got left COVID. our house and got COVID. And I assume he did it at the airport since none of us have it. And we were living together for a week and a half. Lovely. Both he and Chippy have COVID. And well, that's why he, we haven't seen him. Because but they're all boosted it, and everything, right? So they should be okay? They had, they had the first, they had three shots. They haven't had the fourth one. And they're okay, but they're, they're, they're clearly sick. I talked to Chippy on the phone, and you could tell from her, her voice and her stopping to cough like frequently, but oh. she was not doing well. No fun. I, I, I'm just glad that that's not, not a souvenir that I brought back for my Las Vegas trip. I know, I, right? I haven't heard of anybody. I, I was, I was so oh, thinking, like, anybody. I was thinking, oh man, it's probably about a twenty-five percent chance I'm going to come back with COVID. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I have heard of no one having it. Has anybody else heard of anybody getting it? No, I don't think so. Especially I since know. I gave up on masks like on day one. I know it was cracking yeah. me up that some people were really staying with it through the whole time. Rob, I was, Rob I was, was impressed. Good. Rob was, yeah. Rob yeah. and Janine. Yeah. I gave up on it when I was with the public, but with our group, I figured everybody was vaccinated, so I didn't worry yeah. about it. It was just, it was, at this point, you're almost going to have to just figure out how to live with it. Go ahead, Robin. I think you're, that's probably correct, and they do have, they do have treatments for it now. Because yeah, they yeah. both had, they both gotten treatments. It, unless you have some severe reason, like you're about to go in for surgery, or I mean, some really serious health risks, or you're about to travel, or you know, and it's you know, something like everybody's that. worried about airplanes. Yeah. But what I saw airplanes are supposed to be good. Thing, the airplane isn't a problem because they're filtering the air constantly. The problem is the airport. airport. Yeah, <laughs> and that's where I think Mark and I got it. Strangers. We got it from the airport. We're almost positive. Seattle or Eugene? I still yeah. wear a mask when I take my dad to doctor's offices. Well, I in our area, area other people are much without a concern for myself. Yeah, in our area, like, in California, like, everybody like wears masks. Should just from now on, just wear masks in doctor's offices. Well, too. that makes sense. Not a bad idea. You won't let you in without a mask. Right. Yeah, right. ours won't. Yeah. Good job, team. It's the brand new iPad Pro. All right. This meeting is being recorded. All right, Janine, we know. Okay. <laughs> that was a good category. That, that was, was that was a, a very clever. Very yeah. good. That was fun. Yeah. It's a good I bonus for people who want to come up with a bonus quickly. I wanted to put Hooterville, but my team wouldn't let me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll add it right now. I said, yep, how about We haven't Halloween? gotten the answers yet, uh, Richard. It's bound to be bigger than Houston, right? <laughs> Halloween, <laughs> Halloween, California. I've, I've, heard, I've, I've okay. heard they've artificially uh, increased the size, though. Uh, shall I? Uh, shall I? Uh, Hooterville. Oh. Uh, I had one. No, that was a bad one. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm going to read them off before I post the thing in the chat. Okay. okay. You're going to do one. In alphabetical order or size order? Size order. Doesn't matter. Oh, Start with biggest, biggest to smallest. Because they have smallest. written down in alphabetical because we had no idea what the size order was. <laughs> um, number one, Houston with a yes. population of over 2 million. Honolulu. Yes. Henderson, Nevada. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes Brandy. Florida. Huntsville, Alabama. Yes. Oh, we didn't think of that. Hunting, Huntington Beach, California. Yeah. That either. Mm. Yes. Hayward, California. Oh, we didn't think oh, that. The Hayward oh, Fault. Yes. Hollywood, Florida. Florida. Oh. Yes. Ooh, yeah, yeah, and we even got the state. Yeah, Hollywood, California is just part of LA. Oh. Hampton, Virginia. Oh. Oh, my God. oh Hampton, yeah. Hartford, Connecticut. Yes. yes. I've been there. High Point, there. North Carolina. Oh. Mm. What, Faith what, and what, Ramira, what? you better have gotten that one. She goes, I didn't think of that. What was that one? <laughs> High Point, North Carolina. High Point. That's what Beavis and Butthead are from. Really? <laughs> no, oh. no, they just get high all the time. <laughs> Cheech and Chong are from there, I guess. <laughs> oh. Hillsboro, Oregon. Oh, oh I said Hillsboro, really? but I, I was thinking it was like Oklahoma or something. Really? 
I didn't think it was that big. What? No. Highlands Ranch, Colorado. Mm -hmm. I have never heard of Highlands Ranch, Colorado before in my life. And the last one, the last one is Hesperia, California. Yay. Oh, yes. 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 Can you put that? Can you put that I'm going to put the link in the chat. That is really wow. Can you read, can you read the last? Two, the next two or three so we can just see how close we got them wrong yeah the next two or three are um hoover alabama hemet california hawthorne california homestead florida hammond indiana harlingen texas haverhill massachusetts haverhill haverhill i'm glad, I'm glad i haverhill instead of haverhill i've heard of haverhill but i did not think it was that big either I can't what? believe Hawthorne is that close. We just stayed in Hawthorne on our way down. And I can't believe there. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania is that small. We just think oh. about it's like 50,000. Hmm. There's cool. a Halifax too, but that's huh. too small. Hershey's um, oh, Hershey, Pennsylvania. No, yeah, there's Halifax a there's a you could play this game with Canada too, because you've got Halifax, you've got Hamilton. Oh, please don't. Oh, no, please let's not. Please don't. <laughs> over a hundred thousand, it would have to be like over two thousand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> over ten. <laughs> we can play this in Australia. Combined population of humans. Sorry, oh, team. I know Hayward. Jeez. Sorry, team. Hayward, where oh. us? Wow, that's not okay, even my dogs barking. Let's go to the <laughs> scores and see how we did. All right, so. Uh, we have absentee minded with 20. They forgot. Right. We are at seven. <laughs> they forgot. That's 27. Yeah. So, Twitter quitters. Uh, six. Oh, shit. Last okay. place. And Canucks. Six. And. We have no team name. Seven. Okay, let's see. Can they do it? In politics, absurdity is not a handicap. This is the team I was on. Eight. I get seven in my count. Seven, I got eight. Eight? Doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> matter. <laughs> but no, barely, the only two I, thought, I thought we missed Fleur Homestead. I thought we only had like four. Oh, I'm sorry, and Harrisburg, seven. Well, you know so what? I, there's something wrong that with the total. total is wrong. The yeah, you think so? You, yeah. you think so? Maybe I, I gave a nine handicap to uh, the the last team there, and they still freaking won. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it says not a handicap, so I gave a yes. nine handicap, and they uh -huh. freaking still. Uh -huh. won. I need to do a woohoo! We lost. Our total is is. Yeah, even even <laughs> handicapped, we won. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what is that? Oh, see, look at the anonymous. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I didn't think we had seven. I thought we had like four. I thought we really no, we well. had we had Houston, Hartford, Henderson, Honolulu, Violia, Huntsville, and then Huntington Beach. Wow, I'm shocked. <laughs> Wait, that's only five. No, that's seven. You named okay. <laughs> 43. Ridiculous. Not having that happen again. I'm going to put them on their own teams. I'm going to figure out who was on that team, and they're all going to be on their own team next time by themselves. Well, if I ever have to be mathematically possible. There's only one person on that team that really matters. And that's me. Just remember, if I have to do this again and throw one together at the last minute, it's going to get progressively worse. Okay, good. Good. I think that's great. Eventually, there'll be a round of Kevin scraping the bottom of the barrel. Yes. <laughs> yep, that could happen. Remember, Fast I have not all the questions. Anymore. That's like have, my leftovers with Carl round. I yep. have every question Still we've fun. ever asked. Susan, will you go through who's doing next week? Because yes, I volunteered, yeah. but I don't hey, know if you. Where's Bob been. tonight? He's not feeling well. Chicken Bob. Not here. Chicken pox. Okay, so number one is Rob. Then it's Caspian, who I told he said he'll feel better by next week. Then it's Cindy. Then it's Gail. And then Carl's doing the bonus. And the following week, we have Mike Wolf, and that's all I have. But I'm not worried about it, because I'll just start assigning what? it. The following week, uh, the 17th, November 17th, is Mike. So Susan, how's Caspian doing? What are his symptoms? He's uh, blowing his nose, and he says um, congested and sneezing. 
a lot. That's that's what my that's what I had too. Yeah, yeah, same thing. But he's okay. No fever. And the thing that's really really great is his girlfriend Jamie didn't catch it because she'd give it to her mom, so she's mm-hmm. fine. Mm-hmm. Is she okay. is she isolating from him? Yeah, they don't live together. Oh, okay. But she was there for the weekend. Remember, we were at okay. Peggy's party. Okay. So anyway, I hope, I hope this was, I hope you guys enjoyed your game, Lynn and Paul. Thank Good, you. Yes, the whole time. Great. Thank you. Paul said, I think yeah. Lynn will like it. She'll be better at it than I am. <laughs> I said, I don't think I am. It's I social. It, it has, it's trivia. We talk about trivia, but it's really social. But the categories have been so wild over the years that we just, you just never know what it's going to be. We've had California history. We've had mathematics. We've uh-huh. had yeah. Name authors, that spaceship. Lots of yeah. science fiction. Yeah. Everything space related. Space. And time travel. Time travel. <laughs> Punch and Judy. How would you guys do with Punch and Judy? <laughs> and don't forget Susan's like, favorite wordle category too. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> time travel. Time travel. The state of Washington. Wordle. State of Mass. The state of Rhode Island. State of New Hampshire. I'm going to do wordle trivia. New York, That's my New Jersey. Jersey. We had one on California. Um, Texas, we had one on deja vu i remember that we ha- oh yeah no that one again yeah we had one on deja vu i remember that <laughs> did we have one on deja vu yes i think we have one. did we have one, did, did we have one on deja vu <laughs> i don't remember it i have a feeling we had one on deja vu <laughs> yeah just a just a vague feeling yeah have you, vague. have you ever looked up deja vu in the dictionary I did it. I looked it up and said, you've looked this up before, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So we yeah, have, Dave, we have since this has never happened. Lynn, your kitty's cute. She, yeah, she, she said her kitty's 20. Wow. Well, All right. Around long. Yeah. So I it's great to see you guys. Thank you for joining us. Bye bye. Thank you. Um, hopefully yeah, we'll see you again everyone. next week. Next Thursday, you. same link. Everything's the same. Same bad time. Okay. Same bad time. Same bad channel. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.